we got a big lad from all the way across the ocean, James Allingshed, and I saw your diet. You still have a diet phase going on. <laughs> what, still what's diet. The, what's still the plan diet. now? What's going on? You, you didn't tell me in my text. Is it? Is it like uh, you're just having fun with your body, like you said in your post? You're fucking shredded for no reason. We'll see in a couple of weeks where that leads up. Is that what it is? Honestly, I'm just really in the mood to like push the condition as far as it can go. So if I do anything, I do something. If I don't, I've got a good starting point for the off season. So because I'm, I'm not happy with the condition I was for the shows, so I want to just pull do you. Okay. Do you have a show you're looking at? No, I don't. Honestly, man, like there's all these shows. I'm kind of taking myself out of thinking about shows because it takes stress off my head. So I'm just like, wake up, do cardio, eat clean. I'll let my body do what it's doing. And if it looks really good and I feel confident, then there's... How much cardio are you doing? Uh, Just 30 now, but I do quite a lot of steps. I move quite a lot during the day. I I go for a walk every day into town. Um, So I'll probably do about 10,000, which for me is a lot because I used to do like... Yeah, I only used to do like 20 minutes cardio and get in all right shape. Um, Yeah. So, yeah. So right now you're you're actually pushing the conditioning farther than you were. Yeah, I'm lighter than I was at the shows. Uh, I was yeah. two, I got down to two sixty two. Uh, I'm two sixty four today. So okay. yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just having fun, like still having an ambition and a goal, whether it's comp related or not. I don't know. Um, yeah, I just wasn't satisfied with the when you know there's more in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So whether like yeah, I said, but... whether it leads to the stage or not, I don't know. I honestly can't say because I haven't thought about it. Because it's been fun because I'm not thinking about it. Good. So, yeah. Yeah, I actually, I watched a little bit of that the, uh, interview you did with Milos and, and uh, Tuttle. Mm. I heard you talking about how that, like, uh, sometimes it just takes the fun out of it for you and that you want to enjoy bodybuilding, but sometimes the stress of the show and social media. and uh, Yeah, like, listen, you do two shows, you do a right in them, and I, I just need a little bit of a mental break from saying show, 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 show. Um, yeah it's probably different if you come away from a show feeling accomplished. I always don't feel like I quite got it right, which mm. uh, leaves you feeling a little bit unsatisfied. So therefore yep. you either go away and start growing and think I've got to get better or you try to improve what you think you didn't bring. And I know that I could have been in better shape. Um, sure. So yeah, I'm just kind of like, okay, let's just see what shape we can get in. Um, and if I get really sick of doing that, then at least it's put me in a, a good position to start reversing the diet and, have an off season really so yeah yeah but james don't, for me at the end my energy gets very low and it, it kind of takes a toll out of my life to just hold that conditioning like do you feel like because you, you you're having a lot of yeah you've had some refeeds in the past that's what you that's how you prep you think those refeeds help you keep your energy a little bit higher than maybe somebody who just maybe but I, I haven't done any since the show and uh oh i still wow. i still feel all right yeah, I haven't done any. Oh, well, yeah, I was I was going to ask, James, do you feel the amount of refeeds you do, that's why you never bring in the conditioning you want? Yeah, I think it stalled me from getting quite where I could have got. Because um, I, wa- I watched it, too, and it seems like, you know, as soon as you drop a little bit of weight, you feel like you got to refeed immediately. Yeah, it's because last year, the last competitions I've done, um, you know, you only judge it by what you do. And right. I won a show in 2022 doing it. So in my head, I'm like, okay, I can do it but what i'll do this year is i'll make the gaps in between a little bit longer right. so this year i tried to actually stay on the lower days longer um and i won't lie you know jordan's obviously a really good friend of mine and me and jordan really hate my look when i start to look stringy right. so we're like we get very like oh you gotta protect that look because when you look skinny you just yeah. look shit even if you're hard so it's yeah. you know basically i need more muscle because if you've got more muscle you can die harder and still have muscle at the end so I know that that's the inevitability that it's got to be a, another good um, off season where it's really structured in order to actually see some improvement. Listen, I was happy with some of the improvements this year. I think it was it was decent, but um, it's not where you know I want to be. So I'm still motivated, which is always a that's good, good thing, though. I suppose. Oh, that's good, man. I thought yeah. you looked fantastic. I, I really did, and I was I was fucking proud of you, dude. I thought you killed it. It, it was, um, you know, if it was seven pounds lighter, and that would allow me to push the fullness because I would have been a bit more responsive. I think yeah. it would have been a, a good battle with some of the, the other, maybe a bit more of a battle with like John and that because John sure. brought it. So did Akim, especially at the second show. I was fortunate yeah. enough to pip Akim at the Arnold because of prejudging because he didn't quite get it right. But he came back at the finals. Fantastic. But 
Fortunately yeah, for me, true, his true. score was low enough in prejudge that I still managed to get the the nod. Um, but you know, coming away from that show, I grew up watching Akim. I grew up watching um, John, and to be able to stand next to them and be compared, it's good. I'm not satisfied because I want to win, but uh, I think it's a step in the right direction because I haven't stood on a stage that big apart from the Olympia. And whenever I've done the Olympia, to be fair, I've been outside the pack. So to be an Arnold, even though it's a smaller lineup and get compared a bit more. I think even if it's only a little bit forward on my last contest, it's still forward. So I have to take it as a little bit of a victory, even though there's more that I want. Absolutely. Um, if that makes sense. No, yeah. it does. It makes, it makes perfect sense. And honestly, I think you're also kind of, and if I recall this correctly in 2021, you're working with Patrick, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And on that prep, you guys felt like you pushed things too far. You didn't speak up and you felt like, yeah, you needed, these, you needed these refeeds, and then the look kind of suffered. Yeah, it, well, what it was, we got to about three weeks out, and I was in Dubai because I had to travel to Dubai because America wouldn't let us fly directly from the UK. And when I was there, I don't know whether it's the temperature, you know, the atmosphere being a bit different. My body started to really run away from me, and I had a day when I was really concerned that I was going past the limit, and I didn't speak out because I was like, "Just man the fuck up, don't be a bitch. You've done so many shows, just just push," and. That Olympia was the one where I came in and I remember Ben like, like looking at me and we were just like, man, the muscles just like disappeared. Like these last few weeks, you've gone from 200 and whatever, 60 something pounds down to like 250 and it just didn't need to go that far. Um, and it's not Patrick's fault. It's mine because I didn't communicate properly. Sure, so. but, but, uh, but it also is, it kind of explains what you've been doing over the last few years. Yeah, because there is a fear. Mind. I won't lie. I've created a yeah. bit of a fear in my mind mm -hmm. about... But, it, but James, it's yeah. a legitimate fear. It's not like yeah. it's a fear that you've made up. I mean, it's something that mm -hmm. happened that you've been trying to correct. And, you know, maybe, listen, maybe that seven pounds isn't the better look. Maybe it just isn't. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. No. I seem to get compared a bit more if I am full. Sure. Um, because I think it makes the silhouette for me a little bit better because I'm a bit taller. So even the slightest flatness is really, really prevalent in the taller guy. Yeah. Um, but I've still, I've got to get the muscle that I don't have to worry about that. I've got to get enough yeah. muscle that even if I'm gnarly, yeah. that it's okay. So lessons to be learned, boys. Lessons to be learned. Absolutely. I need some of that Nick Walker muscle. So, <laughs> yeah, I think, we, I think we, I think we, we all, all, all need a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. No, well, regardless, James, I think you navigated this on your own. I think you navigated it very well. And I'm, yeah, I'm like, listen, and the thing with Milos, like, I, I let me get this straight, yeah? I, I, I had money. I said, Milos, I'm going to pay you to be a third man. I'll ask you questions if I need to, and I won't if I won't. Yeah. I never actually was like, I never said, I want you to fully be in control because I'm yeah. not that type of guy. I said, I want you to be part of my team. I want you to be available if I need you, and I'll compensate you by paying you. Yeah. You may hear from me a lot. You may not. So it was never like, um, it was never like I'm giving, I always said to him, this is my plan. This is what I'm doing today. This is what I think. Yeah. I what think I spoke, think? I spoke yeah. to you in, in private last, I mean, I think mm. it had been August, September last summer, last year. Yeah. And I remember you telling me that you're like, I'm not, I'm just not that coach. I'm very, un I'm very, I'm yeah. bad. I'm awful. Like I'm doing, I'm doing this on my own. I might ask for some help, but, but I, I do recall you saying that. So, I mean, yeah, cause I, 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 listen, kinda... I think if someone's given you their knowledge and time, then you should compensate them regardless whether it's a hundred conversations or five. So I made sure that I paid him at the beginning, said, look, this is, this is how it's going to work. He was very implemental in my off season. Uh, but I did get to a point when I just felt really rough. I just felt awful. And it's not probably his fault. It's probably just, I don't agree. With, yeah. I just don't agree with some, my body probably just didn't agree with some of the, uh, even just the compounds. So things like Dynabolt, yeah. I was just like, Oh my God, I feel awful. Uh, I felt, yeah, yeah. I got to a point and I said it to him. I got to a point where I was pretty fucking down. I like suicidal. But like hormones no, must have man. been all over the gas. So I was like, yeah, man. But but because I could identify it because I'm I'm been bodybuilding for so long, I knew yeah. it was influenced by hormones. So even if I ever get to that point where I feel really negative, like I felt like fucking hanging myself in the gym some days. But I was like, come out of it, man. man. Like you know it, why you're feeling this way. It's yeah. not like it was a, an occurrence that made me feel that way. You know. Yeah. Um, so James. when it got to that point. I was like, wow, we need Th to. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up, man. I think a lot of people deal with this, and I think we've all kind of dealt with our stressors. And sometimes this shit can be really hard on us all. So, I mean, I know Nick, Antoine, myself, I think we've all had those moments. So anybody that's listening, mm. listen, it's, it is it is a it's normal, normal thing. Yeah, it is a normal thing. And, and speak to people. Have a conversation. For sure. You know? For sure. 
I was very fortunate to have obviously Yannicka, you know, she's yeah, always around. Jordan as well. Jordan's great. I can say anything to Jordan, you know. He's like a, you've got your level of friends and you've got your like your five out of five who you could actually say the worst shit on the planet to, whether yeah. it be, you know, a, a joke that shouldn't be said or an honesty that you yeah. can say. So, yeah, he's always been fantastic. That's why I respect Jordan so much and I always tend to revolve back to him for some advices because yeah it's hard not to when you just care about someone that much you know like my training and stuff like that i still always pick his brain and i just think That's he's a good. magnificent person so um it seems it's like just, I... you know if you if you love someone you love talking to them you love having conversations and you care so i it's like a parent almost I, i'll say this i think um because I, I didn't really grow up my dad is like kind of fucked off when i was really young i was about six i i do tend to like get a very strong relationship with people that I see as almost my, um, they have like that kind of father instinct in my eyes. Like they're, if yep. they're like intelligent, yeah, if they're intelligent and they give good advice and they're a male, I do get quite fixated. And I think it's because of the way that I was uh, absent from that growing up. So, you know, that's why with coaches like Patrick and people like that, I really, I looked at Patrick like he was like my stepdad. Like I, I did really care. And I think the problem with that is that when you do care, you get very emotional. And my emotions ultimately led to the demise of our relationship because I felt like I couldn't talk because I cared so much about him personally. But I didn't want to uh, hurt him. But in the process of not wanting to do that, you hurt them because you don't speak. So it's just uh, I'm trying to learn, you know, getting older and trying to learn how to talk to people and do the right things. Yeah, you had your birthday. So you're 35 now? 35, man. Oh boy. It's all right. Still young, so, bro. Yeah, yeah. Still young enough. Young enough. And uh, you're, you were 35, I think, that the day after Sem the... St. Patrick's Day. It was on the 17th of March. So after the Arnold UK. So what did yeah. you, So I was talking to you, actually. You helped me out. You even saved me some fucking money to, uh, to help me with my train and, and stuff. So you actually gave Spent gifts on your own birthday. <laughs> Dude, this guy, James, he saved my ass a little bit because uh, on the way back from the UK going to the Eurostar in London... For some reason, my luck in London and UK was shit with travel. To be honest. It was pretty bad. <laughs> but uh, so the, the whole train shuts down, and then I make a story about it, and then all the trains behind me also shut down at the same station. I was the first, so the, it started like growing with like hundreds of people in the station. And then he did a story. A guy saw my story. He said, "Hey, I just saw your story, and I guess I'm in the same boat." So I paid for like a, I paid two hundred pounds for like a which is like $400 for a cab to go straight to London. And uh, James helped me out with that, and people helped me out with that. So, But that was all during um, James' birthday. So what else did you do? Because I was like, you should go home, eat some snacks, and play Call of Duty. I just, so what did dude, you do? all I did, all I did was drive home, got home in the evening, because obviously we were traveling. I messaged one of my best mates and just said, do you want to go to cinema? And we went and watched uh, Dune Part 2. So it was good. Dude, That's, was it good? How was that? Good? How was that? good man honestly it's really it. it's, it's an improvement on the first one and the first one's pretty good this is yeah. like this I is like terminator better, 2 yeah. to terminator you know yeah i agree, really? I agree. yeah i thought it, I yeah. thought it was fantastic it was really yeah. good it's good so james should we watch the first one again before watching yeah. the second yes. one okay definitely just so the dialogue because it's quite it's quite thorough and it's you can miss a lot of things i feel uh, like the you enjoy it strong. the second time more i feel like i want to go watch the second one a second time most people just, I know have. Yeah. Most people yeah, I know have seen two a few times. Because there's a lot, there's a fucking lot to digest in these films. Yeah. So yeah. it's like that's the second time you can definitely. You, wa you watch it and you start to like, you, you think, you're looking at how it's like got that kind of sandy filter. And you think if another film tried to do this, you'd think this is shit. Somehow, like Dune just creates a world that you're really, really kind of infatuated with and you want to see. Yeah. And there's a bit in the film, I won't say nothing about the story, but kind of talking about the beauty of the planet being sand and you kind of see it even though it's sand you're like wow it is so yeah it's a good film could they have the valencia filter on it from instagram yeah the sepia <laughs> yeah, one yeah. <laughs> sepia sepia yeah, yeah so did you not eat on your birthday james did you not have no. some junk food no i haven't even had a fucking easter what's, egg i'm pissed what's, hap what's happened to you man I, I i feel like you were you were uh during your contest prep leading up to these shows eating more than <laughs> yeah living life yeah but birthday. that's what happens Dude, when you get when you don't get the result you want, you have to try and fix things and go Adjust. a little bit further and see what you're capable yeah. of. So I learned from what I do, not what I don't do. So it's kind of like, okay, I'll figure it out. You know, that maybe wasn't 
the best approach. And listen, I, I'll try this. I might look like a piece of shit at the end of this diet, and then I know. So it's all information. I'm just trying to figure it out. So you were less you were less public about these like refeeds. So were you still doing like butter chicken and pints of ice cream? How I stopped up lactose. I stopped lactose about two, three weeks bef- okay. like before the show. Two weeks. So I was like, that's just yeah, because <laughs> that that was the problem with that is it just makes you shit all day the next day. And yeah. I was like, I need yeah. to get rid of that bit now. Sometimes that, mind... sometimes that can dry you out though. Sometimes a little diarrhea can do Maybe you if I kept it in I'd... <laughs> more dry. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah, I just I didn't go listen, I, I tend to what I do is I have like a normal day up to the evening and then in the evening I would have like from like five o'clock if I want a couple of meals off, I would do that. And again, it's um, it isn't obviously the best way because if it was the best way, then I would be uh, higher than yeah, fifth but, at the Arnold. <laughs> yeah, but look, you you had you did this the whole time, so maybe the mental break was good because you're still there right now, yeah. dieting hard. Yeah, I will say that over twenty weeks. Yeah, I, I will say it does allow for you to kind of reset, but just do it a little bit less frequently if you need to do it because yeah. um, then you can't then you're not going to blame it. Um, or you could just be like someone like Nick, who's a machine and doesn't really, I don't think, do you ever have a meal off Nick? You're kind of, I, I did a lot uh, during the Olympia prep last year. Yeah. That's what just because the body was, do. but as far as this prep, I, I think I had like one. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose it's very situational on the prep. If the prep is that way and it, it's demanding it, it demands it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I well, think... I, I, I told Matt this, pre- I just, just give me a, a high day. I don't really. Want yeah. I, Do you I feel like that's better for you? you? Huh? Do you feel like that's a lot better for you? It just feels nice. Yeah. I, I don't, I feel good. I feel fine when yeah. I do it. So I don't. Do you feel like it gives you enough of a refeed, like a, enough of what you're trying to get from it? Well, what I what I like for a digestion purpose, let's just say yeah. we do it one day, and the next day I really don't gain much out of it. You just do it again. Yeah, yeah. So See, if, I feel cool. like you know, you know, if you go out and get burgers, I mean, that works for a lot of people. But let's just say one time, it just completely demolishes your fucking digestion. Yeah, you know, it kind of defeats the purpose. For sure, for sure. So I, I my weight got down to two sixty two two days ago. So I did a four hundred gram bonus day clean carbs like you say so you definitely don't suffer from doing that so i'm gonna yeah. test it out and i'm gonna i'll see how it goes and uh, I'm, pr- can... I'm pretty sure it's the same with nick but like with matt he's usually pretty liberal with the fats on the high days as well to yeah. like make my fats are stick. still very high right you have now. quite a lot of yeah. nut butters and stuff don't you yeah yeah i love that's that i look at your food like, nut butters. Mm-hmm. like i'm still doing like at least 15 grams of added fat per meal nice it makes the meal so much nice. nicer as well. Oh, it's the best. I've been having Brazil nuts before bed. I have to say, they're quite nice. Ah, Brazil yeah. nuts. Brazil yeah. nuts. That's kind of yeah. sus. Selenium. It's good for your thyroid. Thyroid. <laughs> true. Oh, Very true, go. actually. Yeah. So, yeah, they're mm. decent. Um, so, yeah. hypothetically speaking, there is um, what well, South America. Is it this weekend coming up? It is. Yeah. yeah. Coming up, yeah. So, there's that. Okay. And then uh, two weeks later, there's hypothetically... There's the Detroit Pro, yeah, there is and that. then a month later, hypothetically speaking, there is the New York Pro. New York, yeah. So these are these are the choices for a, a, an in shape, change the shed, olive shed to jump yeah. into any of these shows. Yeah, it's just like it's like I say if 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 you do it even longer, you want to diet longer than that, you could. You feel? <laughs> I'm 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 flying right now. I feel pretty good, but. Um, wow. I I don't know really what I want to do yet, if I'm honest. And there's a chance to kind of reset a little bit and then do something later. I don't know. I'm just mm-hmm. literally I'm just taking one day at a time. I will formulate a plan because a man without a plan is not worth you know shit. You have to have something in your mind. Um, yeah, you know what I mean. You can't just be living in the clouds. Limbo, um, limbo. So I don't know. Listen, if I reached the level of condition I was really really happy with before, say Detroit, and I thought, wow, this is great. And even if it's not going to be the most muscular person on stage, but the condition is going to be outstanding, like I've never shown before, then I'd probably do it. But I just don't know if that's going to happen or not. So that's why I'm like, I don't know. Hmm. You know? <laughs> that's Honestly, I'm just trying. I'm trying. Like I'm getting up every day. I'm getting on that fucking Stairmaster. I've reduced my calories. I'm like, <laughs> come on, you cunt. Let's get lean. And, uh, I, you know, it's doing what it does. But I think also it's hard to see sometimes progress. So 
Wow. How can you? Uh, that's why you. So you have. Do you still have Milo send your friend Jordan Peters to help you with the, uh, like another eye? Because I could just not Jordan tra- really, just Jordan just really, Jordan, because okay. he's at the gym in it. So because we own the gym. Oh, that's good. He's in there when I train, and uh, oh, we train. Good. How's that going, James? Great, man. Loving it. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, it looks, it looks it looks incredible. The gym looks amazing. Honestly, I've seen you guys train there. It's also cool noticing that Jordan is training there and he's not in his little hidey hole. Dude, he came out of his little cool. hidey hole and yeah. now he can't go back. He loves it. Um, awesome. It's great. We're expanding uh, this month. We're actually we're going into expanding. next door. We're doing, yeah, we're going to build a, uh, it's like a 2,000 square foot like leg room. Um, so we've got all the kit coming. Um, but literally, well, a load of additional kit, and then we'll move the leg stuff from the gym into there, and then it frees up loads of room for a, another container we have coming with a lot of upper body wow. stuff. So Beautiful. we're just Beautiful. pushing it, man. We're like, fuck it, let's make this shit great. It's awesome. Uh, it's exciting to do it alongside the, the bodybuilding itself because I feel like I've got multiple purposes. Um, it keeps me uh, kind of like happy. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm seeing people training there daily, all having a great fucking time. And uh, uh, such a variety of faces and different backgrounds. And I have conversations with many of them. And you leave there feeling pretty fulfilled. Um, it's, beautiful. it's a really yeah. nice feeling. It's a really nice feeling. That's great, man. Yeah, I I, it, it seems like the, the uh, bodybuilding culture is thriving over there. It seems like you yeah, really it does. Crazy. And I think Jordan's very responsible for that, I have to of say. Course. Yeah. He's, um, he's like the arrowhead for British bodybuilding, I have to say. Um, yeah, the arrowhead? I see that yeah, like he leads, he's the front he of the arrow, man. Like every, yeah, everything's by, I think, I everything think that was going on over here is implemented by him. I think you're a narrow head of UK bodybuilding also. Dude, I saw your lineup at your UK Arnold meet and greet. You you had the biggest one there. Dude, after it was closed, you still had all these people waiting for you. I, like, I was there till half 10. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, half 10. So, you mean like 10, 30? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, so that that's actually ninety minutes after it was closed because the the meeting was from seven to nine, and I left at nine because my French Canadian ass had some some followers, some supporters, but then I was like, oh my god, James is gonna he's not gonna leave this place because I know him, so you were there for an extra hour and a half, so that's cool. So I yeah. think I think you are the man. I mean, of course Jordan is like is like the man too, but you're the one on stage. You're the one in front of the, the lights. Uh, I think. So um... you're more, I think what it is, we're what I'm not, he is, and what he's not, I am, and it's why we work well together, you know. Okay, in front of the camera, he's more in the background. Yeah, and like he creates amazing supplementation, does really good. He was a phenomenal coach for people. He's like the other side of bodybuilding, and I'm like the the bodybuilder's bodybuilder. We're like I don't know, we just kind of we gel really well because we're not the same. That's cool. So I I see. Yeah. So how was it being the owner of the gym during your prep? Good, mate, honestly, yeah. really good. Um, you know, because on the weekends I close at 4 p.m. Mm-hmm. on purpose. Just so like people like, you know, because if you really care about the gym, you'll get there before 4 p.m., you know, yeah, the whole yeah. fucking day. Yeah. Uh, and I believe people <laughs> should be able to go out and have, you know, their Sunday roast or their dinner on a weekend with their family. So I encourage people to get out of the gym by 4 so a lot of my training actually fell on those days. So I kind of had some a good medium of quiet time mixed with social time. Yeah, that's um, important. My gym yeah, was always 24 hours, so I never... Yes, really it's really difficult time. for you. Yeah. Well, you know, and I'm nursing this leg injury. So it was great for me to be able to whip my pants off and basically walk around the gym naked with electrified electrodes that's on my leg with no one looking at me while I'm trying to test this leg out. So um, How's that going, by the way? It's getting there. I, I managed to like even hack squat the other day with no electrodes on, which wouldn't have happened at all. Um, I had an MRI on my back. I think I've got, um, from what I understand, I think my my lower vertebrae are just they're bulging a little bit, but not that much. But all of them have a slight amount, and they all have a, a little. Everyone has something that they cause to happen, and I've got four subtle things happening in my left leg. I can't really contract my toe like that very well. I can't internally rotate very well. My quad doesn't want to flex and I can't, um, and my foot drops a bit. So I need to basically shrink the nerve, which can only be done via like ibuprofen. Um, and because, because nerves can shrink. It's this, I've been trying to read up on all this shit to try and understand how I can help myself. Cause you don't have to have an operation. You can literally fix the issue as well. And using like a tens machine, or a newbie fit, 
to try to re-educate my body because it's basically switched off that leg because it feels like it's had an injury. And when you, if you obtain an knee injury or anything like that, which can cause your body basically to do something called quad not firing. Yeah. So your quad just doesn't fire, even though the muscle works. So my left quad for this whole last five months hasn't really uh, contracted. So I did a whole prep and more knowing that I couldn't do any of the leg training that I need to do and like to do because you know how I like to train legs. Yeah. Um, so I kind of, you know, I'm not a pussy, so I'm never going to back out of a fucking show. Yeah. But there was part of me many times in this prep was like, man, I've got one arm behind my back and my legs are one of my stronger body points. And if that fails, then I'm half a body because my upper body is definitely not the best bit. Um, but, you know, you just I honestly, because, I honestly yeah. didn't notice a bit. And I know that you were talking about how you pose it a little bit differently. Yeah, I just had to, man. Just had to pose it a little bit Get differently. Get that one and, foot out in front of the other, flare yeah. that knee a little bit. And then lead, lead with the right leg just to put that one in front to emphasize yeah. that. So the yeah, distance thought- changed how you kind of look. Yeah. I, I do the same thing. I have to. Yeah, when I broke my leg, my legs are not, they're not the fucking there you same. Go, man. But we all deal with that. You know, we've all had something go on. And Hottie, last year, Hottie has it. It's a Hottie's got something. Dude. I can see it in his yeah. leg. And Listen, Jay's are, you a, are you a bodybuilder if you don't get a little niggle here and there? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I did? The, um, was it two years ago? I did a full body MRI. Yeah. And first of all, as a claustrophobic person, that was pretty fucked up. Yeah, it's horrible. They put a cage on your head and they fucking bolt it. Oh, they didn't do that with me. Like a full body MRI? Well, I've had my full body in one because the one, but the lucky one I had, had, yeah, the lucky one I had, it it was actually a cylinder, so your head could come out the other end as well, which most of them don't. That's a CT scan. No, no, no. MRI did it now as well. I I had an MRI. I did this. I had an MRI on my hamstring. Dude, I dude, I was stuck in a fucking cage for fifty five zero minutes. That's too long, bro. Oh, man, I was freaking out. But anyway, so I realized that as a bodybuilder in your 30s, you get tears and shit everywhere. I got tear in both shoulders. I got something in my knees. I got a herniation in my lower spine also, like you. But everything is bulging, but it's so low, it's bulging past the nerve, so it doesn't touch anything. Uh And I got, like, in my C6 or whatever the fuck, in my neck, down in the back, all, like, herniations, too. Yeah, which is like, Do you know what? Oh, I th- what, what what I think caused mine. I'm so used to barbell squats, so I brace, so I'm always very braced. Yeah, I started doing my hacks a bit more, and I think sometimes what happens is I actually relax my core too much when I hack, and I mm. think that relaxing of my core made it kind of shift because I wasn't braced. So yeah, yeah I thought thing. initially, I thought initially you had like a pop or something on the leg press. No, I was on the leg press and my legs felt a bit tight. And then I went onto my Cybex and I did a warm up, and my knee went like it, it went like in slightly and went oof. And I was like, that ain't good. Yeah. Jordan was there. I was like, bro, yeah. my legs just like gone for some reason. And I had this sharp shooting pain. I couldn't even, I couldn't even squat down or do anything body weight. And I haven't been able to, I couldn't even, even now to be fair, unless it's really warm, a body weight squat is almost impossible. Buddy, that's so. terrible. It's terrible. It's fucking bullshit, yeah. bro. I mean, I was squatting seven plates, and now I'm squatting. I'm, I can't even squat my own body weight anymore. It's like, oh, I fuck know it Dorian. Up. Dorian just had something like he, he was dealing with like drop foot and some nerve pain issue, wasn't he, Antoine? Uh, Dorian's been dealing with his back issues for fucking years. Yeah, yeah. he has yeah, actually. But, yeah, I remember. I think he mentioned. just figure it out. I think he mentioned so, some some relief he's been having some modality. Yeah, I don't know he's, he's been doing, doing the. Um, he has this really cool machine at home. I don't know what it's called, but it's this thing. It's like. It's worth a lot of money, but it's like a big electric electric thing. Looks like it's made in the fifties, the way the metal is made with the big knobs. It's okay. a cable with like halos that you could put or on your arm, you could put on your stomach, you can put anywhere. And dude, I put it on my head and he go he, he cranks it up. I feel I feel my eyeballs going like this. I wonder what it is. And, and then it's like you feel like tension. It just makes stuff like twitch, but like from the inside. I wish Dory was here to explain it, but, but it's like, and the crazy thing is, I, I put my arm in there one day, just like for five minutes. Then I was like, "Yo, Dory, like, why does it, the pain's gone?" He said, "Yeah, this machine is amazing." So I did it a couple more times. So huh. every day he's been doing some of that. Yeah. And uh, dude, James, maybe you would like to know what that machine is. Yeah, I'll find out. I'll reach out to Dorian and see what it is. Reach out to Dorian. He's actually he's on. A, he's in the Dominican right now, on vacation. Oh, okay. But I'm sure you can reach out to him and 
You'll I will, learn. man. I will. Dorian's always been yeah. very helpful. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it's man. a really cool machine. I don't know what, what it's called, but it's like this weird thing, man. It's like I'll invest. Thing. Listen, if it's if it's a fantastic machine, we'll pull it on the gym. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Business expense. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Get a write off. Yeah. yeah. Should be good. So, yeah, so should James, be enough good. about bodybuilding. I know this feel. I feel like uh, this is something you're almost trying to escape. You don't really want to be too. No, I love. I, I, I dude. I I love bodybuilding just on my terms. Like I saw some pictures yeah, of me dude. back. I just posted some of me when I was like heavy, and I'm really yeah. excited to get like that again. Like I love that pursuit, but yeah. I'm like hold off for a minute. No, I I love bodybuilding when I'm around guys like yourself. I got friends yeah. over here like Anth Bales, guys like when I'm around them. Bodybuilding's the best. It's when I make the mistake of sitting on here and looking at half the people in the world that yeah. so-called bodybuilders that I start getting fucking angry. And yeah. it's bad because it's me letting it happen. Whereas if I just think about the people I know that I'm fortunate to know who do it with me, you guys, then I feel great about it. So I just got to keep my attention on the right people. That's all it is. Yeah. I do I love was bodybuilders. Just, I was literally just talking to Jasmine about that, like how yeah. I have so much uh, support from my peers and respect from my peers and people I respect within the industry. And then it's fuck face shit bags who have never done a thing in their Absolutely. fucking lives Absolutely. that are ridiculing the shit out of me. And, I, and, yeah. and, and it sucks because I'm, I'm a guy, I'm, I'm, you know, 35 years old. I'm confident in myself. I'm secure, but you still let that shit get to you. And you can, yeah. you, you can think less of yourself because of what these shitty people yeah. are. Saying. I think the key, the key really, really is, is we have to just admit it's okay to put this down for a while. Just put it down. 100%, I know that yeah. we need to check our messages and shit. I know it's important, but for yourself, like that's why I go out for a walk every day into town because when that's in my pocket on that walk, I don't fucking look at it for the hour and a half, two hours. And it's really, really helpful. It's been helping yeah. me this. That's why I've probably been able to continue kind of prepping because I've yeah. substituted some of that time to me time. Like even today I said to myself, I was walking down the road and I live in a really nice area now. I was, uh, I was looking up at the trees and I was like, Fuck, Jay, how often do you actually look up and focus on what's around you? Make sure you do it more. Like it's silly, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, I was like, yeah, I, I was just looking at the trees, like, yeah, pay attention to that because that's a good thing. And that, that was it, yeah. you know? Now that's what I'm trying to tell myself. You know Jasmine's been on top of me about fucking spending too much time on my phone. So every it's morning, bad, I mean, it's been a while, but I, I've got a routine where every morning I wake up, I will not touch <laughs> my phone, I get coffee, I go outside, I make sure to get some sunlight in my Goodness. fucking eyes, and then I go and we read our book for like 30 40 minutes Perfect. in the living room by ourselves nothing no sound the nothing way. and then uh i'll pick up my phone after about 90 minutes after i've been up at when i'm doing my cardio that's good man and i'm usually doing a little bit of like you know the morning routine is the best one isn't it like, like I, yeah. I get up here and i do the same i head to the gym i have my coffee i speak to my staff because they're lovely and i have a chat for about 15 minutes yeah and then i start my cardio do some abs and then I have a little chat again, and then I go home. And I haven't even looked at my phone other than turning on my headphones. And yeah, it's so go. much better. It's Are you like that, yeah. Nick, when you do your morning routine? Yeah. I don't really do, – I mean, I'll look at my messages, and I mean, I might post a picture periodically, but then I yeah. just – I get right off. I don't really – Yeah. I don't really look at anything, to be honest. I, I think that's your strength as well. It's a good thing because you've, you're so, you've got such a – from the outside, at least, the fortitude you have is something that takes having – the ability to not let things in too much. And I, no, I don't choice, let shit bother me. You have to understand, yeah. James, I've I've been competing, you know, you've probably been competing longer than me, but I started when I was 17, 18 years yeah. old. Yeah. And I was already getting all the negative bullshit when I was like 20. So yeah. at this point, like, what, 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 are you gonna, what are you gonna say to me? You know? Dude, you've proven, <laughs> like, it's like yeah. every time you've proven. I, I could care do. less, you know, yeah. like when I don't, I get it, you know, like some comments, you're like, yeah, what the fuck? But even for me now, like I just, I if anything, I I laugh at the, all the negative shit. I think it's funny, dude. Yeah. One thing I have to try and remind myself, and all of us can say this: we make a living doing something that we enjoy. Like but it's that, now. but like you ever like read a comment and then you just click on who said it? And you're, you just <laughs> you look at them. Uh, you're like, are you're you like, sure? Are you I'm fucking good. sure? Like you're, I got okay. yeah, I got I got roasted by this guy the other day who like makes granola bars and he's like you click on his page it's nothing but granola bars uh, and he's and he's talking shit about how my biggest accomplishment was qualifying for the Olympia. And I would have asked him for some granola bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I was, I was like, yeah, maybe I'll. Like, uh, I love granola bars. Granola bars. Yeah. Granola yeah. Is good too, yeah. to be fair. Yeah. Maybe he's. I do love a granola bar. <laughs> yeah, he might be. So, so I think I've realized that about all this stuff is that. I've heard people say like, "Oh, like even like I don't want kids in this world. I'm not gonna bring any kids in this world." Or you choose your love. shit. Or even like, uh, um, people they will always like complain about like shit online. Other people, people do. I'm like, you know what? 
bring kids into this world. My world is I go to the gym around these my friends and I'm I'm here doing stuff I yeah, like. Yeah. If you pick this up and you start looking in this, this is where all the problems start. You put this, this away. World, this is your man. world. This is <clears throat> yeah, it's not where we live. That's yeah. not a fucking yeah. world. That's not your world. Your world is like what's actually around you, the grocery store. So all, yeah. all these like people with like all this gender stuff going on, right? People like get mad at this. I'm like, dude, I've it's never had to fucking deal with this in real life. I, I was I was a Starbucks. Me neither. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, no, I, I was at Starbucks. I saw like uh, probably a they them whatever, and I I, I just said uh, <laughs> thanks, thanks. Uh, I didn't say thanks, man. I just say thank you. So it's like. This is the only thing I had to do with this whole thing. I kind of like knew that if I say man, he would have, I would have maybe upset this person because of the way she was, he was dressed. But that's it. Other than that, this gender shit is like, it's not really affecting my, my life. So all Nothing these, like, really does affect well, your life. Truth, truth you of the matter is 99% of the shit that bothers us doesn't affect our lives at all. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. No, I don't encounter any like terrorists at the grocery store i don't encounter any people pushing <laughs> any type of propaganda we're very fortunate i mean if you look at our all we are, lives, so, we're, dude, very fortunate. Dude, yeah. we're, we're fortunate that we're you know males. and also believe me we've we've met and shook hands with people who have talked shit about us on our instagram page at the oh, olympia you know what great. that's that's <laughs> why you that's why you shouldn't let it bother you embrace that shit yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, and I was actually going to say that, Nick. I was like, dude, this guy, you, you have, like, a t- loads of fucking experience, dude. When I was, before I was ever even bodybuilding, I was watching Nick get hammered online. Hammered, like, bro. Dude, I mean, you've been getting death threats for, like, the last 10 years. I was supposed to be dead at 25 years old. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, what happened? I know. I, I, I made it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I'm going to be 30 this year. Yeah, that's cool. That's crazy. That's crazy. I know. You're looking, you're looking thirty and mature with those glasses, dude. It's awesome. Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. I like to think I'm a mixture of like a, a Superman Wolverine type of look here. So like oh, Clark Kent, yeah, yeah. Clark, Clark, Clark Kent, Kent Wolverine, a bit of a Henry Cavill, and a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like a good it, look. Dude. It's a good look. Yeah, it is. Yo, so how's how's the prep going, Nick? What is seven weeks? How, how many? Six. It'll be it'll be six weeks on Saturday. Yeah, crazy, dude. I was just watching your little uh, your recovery video. What do you think of those uh, Normatec boots? I bought a pair. I bought a pair too. I have they a like things. I have. I got the whole thing where you get like the arm, like the fucking. I didn't get oh. those. I just. I just. Yeah. I use them every day. I'm not gonna lie. It's really? Yeah. Infl- I honestly. The inflatables. The inflatables. Yeah. I, I don't know if used... you're supposed to use it every day, but I I use it every day. Can't hurt. I got. I since I moved into my new house, I've just had them in a box in my garage. But I watched your video. I was like, I gotta unpack this thing. Get them out. Because every it's night good. now, me and my mom, we watch Vikings, and I, nice. I put them on while we watch Vikings. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's awesome. So do you rate them? You think they're really good? I do. I I, mm. I noticed. I definitely noticed a recovery standpoint. Yeah. But like even when I take them off, my legs. It's like they just drain the water right out. Like my legs. Just your legs. Shit. Yeah. Especially if your legs are smoked and sore from a leg day. Yeah. Like, it feels oh, yeah. How about even like sometimes just from cardio? Sometimes you get a little bit tired. But like I know you did For a post sure. about this. Especially if you're doing like stairs or like yeah. high resistance on the bike or some yeah. shit. Like yeah, of course. It's good for that. I might have to uh, invest. I've been on this bit of a spending spree lately because, you know, when you're dieting, you just buy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, I, yeah. yeah. Amazon is king in prep. Amazon oh, is king. God. And CEX, which is our GameStop equivalent. Yep. Oh, you know, James. Yep. Yeah, Steam Deck on the go. Yeah, you have one of those? Yep. I yep. actually don't, but. I, I have one for, been... for my uh, Olympia prep. I bought one for it. I had the new Mario game. Like I've got the uh, Odyssey. I've got the um. So I got the OLED Switch OLED right in front of me, and the PS5 and the Xbox and the PS2 I bought today. PS2, bought PS2, I bought yeah. PS2 yeah. today. Aren't they? Why? Aren't they at like yeah. PS5? I've got PS5, but I I want a PS2 to play old PS2 games. Dude, you so get I feel you like old, I feel Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Tony you can't Hawk's download Pro. the PS2 yeah. games on your PS5. No, 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 no. It's not the same either. Even if you can, it's not the same because there's just something about putting a disc in that's like from oh, that era. Oh, okay. You like this yeah. stuff. That's cool. But also, yeah, it so doesn't play the same. I recently and the PS2 played... plays PS1 games as well. Yeah, there you go. It's backwards Ooh. compatible. So I, I actually got like, uh, I've been playing like one of the newer Crash Bandicoots, but I tried playing the old Crash Bandicoot on my PS5. So different. 
you can't fucking play, you can't even play it. It just doesn't yeah. function the you, same. You need the console's original controller for its intended game. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, I know like gaming always gets thrown in there, but you know, I do love it. I love it. it. I, got, I, I got, do, like, I'm all about it. Look, look, this is this is my life. Look, one controller, uh two controller, uh three controller, <laughs> and another <laughs> like four controller two sets of headphones here. Fucking hell, Jesus Christ. What are you playing on the PS5 right now? Um right now. What the fuck am I playing? I'm not even. I'm using it for Blu-rays at the minute, bro. I'm watching films. Nice, well, dude. I'm not watching films. I'm gathering films to watch eventually. What are you, what are, what are you gathering? I want to know. When you're not dieting, all sorts, dude. All sorts. Like, let me just see well, what I've got here. Tell me some. The fuck? Yeah. I, well, I haven't seen half of them. I've got. I've got. So you're buying oldies, Blu-ray look. DVDs? James, no, James is, that a, look, is that a small bed right there? Yeah, it's just a little spare bed for with people stay. So That's I'm getting okay. these. There's these old ones, yeah, like Marlon Brando films and shit like this. Oh, nice. That these oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Midnight Express. Bro, so this is 19... Let me just check. The, 1954. And this is... Uh, is that even in color? No. It's black and white. It's iconic, black and dude, white, bro. That's awesome. I need to... I just want to go back a little bit, you know? Dude, um, you're going you're, back. You're an old soldier. Back, Before my <laughs> birth, you know, is I did buy really... the Alien uh, collection yesterday alien? so all the way up to cover aliens are good movie. Yeah. The, new, uh, the new aliens coming out this summer right like uh, Romulus, yeah yeah, yeah. Be good. so i've been getting them um this is a classic i'm just gonna show you one more thing i had to fucking do this boys. oh you're gonna like i know you like this film man on fire obviously fucking top film oh, great yeah, movie buddy. one of my yeah. favorites so really? this is this is one of my favorites what is that i can't see this is transformers that's oh, the, yeah oh, that's the OG. yeah but it's still book one so i'm a sucker for that shit and it's Oh, yeah, just I just love that shit. Anyway, so, yeah. the snap, the snap into the uh, the case is so satisfying, right? Oh, so Popping satisfying. In, yeah. So ah, kid, kids these days have no idea. There's they one don't. movie that was black and white that I really enjoyed in my life. I actually watched it in school. It's called, it's called Twelve Angry Men, and it's about this jury of twelve men that are supposed to judge this uh, court thing going on. And they okay. all agree guilty, guilty, guilty. And then there's one guy that says he's not guilty. So they, so they have, have to take to it to thingy then. Yeah. So they have to like try to like uh, come to an Can't agreement. They call it. And yeah. it ends up like the story is really good. I was like, and I was younger too. It's like, this is a good black and white movie. Man, so I guess there's some out there. Yeah. Sometimes limiting the amount of visual shit going on will pull you into the movie more. True. I've, just got, I've got two things just to show you. Just one more. This is a. Can you see that? Oh, dude, that's OG. That's fucking original. Yeah. And then I don't know if you ever played this. This is such a fucking good game. This yeah, Legacy yeah, of Kane, Blood Over. Is it good? Oh my god! Oh my god! So good. <laughs> He's so passionate. <laughs> Yo, you got a super? You got a Super Nintendo, James? Uh, no, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking have to get one, aren't I? I'm gonna have to get one dude, again. The, you'll have to get everything, James. I will. I'm, when I, when I'm buying a new house in a minute. It's on reserve. Once I'm in there, dude, I've got four bedrooms. One of them bedrooms is getting absolutely converted into the den. That's a game room right there. Beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got two fucking PCs as well. I've got three screens right now. It's free. It's fucked up, man. I'm going a bit crazy. That's dude. awesome. Well, congrats. You're buying a house, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a that's nice a, one as well, man. It's a good one. That's what I did last prep. I was like, fucking, i got to get something. I fucking yeah. spent it's always nice to get a house. Now. I am selling my house. My, my house in London is on the market right now. So fingers oh, okay. crossed it doesn't float around for too long. And uh, How long has it been on the market for? Oh, only like a week. So oh, okay. it's literally really But it's had some viewings already, some positive feedback. Nothing's yet, but yeah. yeah, we'll see, man. It's a good spot. Like getting into central London is obviously really convenient for a lot of people. It's a two-bed with... um. Uh, good links to train stations and stuff so That's driveway nice. so yeah in london it's hard to get that so it should driveway should yeah which obviously you don't get in london because there's yeah. no fucking parking so um very very helpful so the new new place you can be close to the gym yeah dude it's like uh 10 minutes 10 minutes nice perfect yeah, it's Can't great be. four bed a study uh ensuite family bathroom big old Upgrade. kitchen utility room proper upgrade for it's you. the house that you want you know that you work for so absolutely yeah uh, that's awesome yeah, bro proud of you thank you guys thank you yeah that's appreciate awesome, that man. and like uh, you know listen if i can get you guys over at some point and you come to the gym then obviously my house has four bedrooms so if you want to come check it out awesome. that'd be lovely. Awesome. everyone says it but i do mean it for a barbecue chill when it's not prep time and uh have a good time yeah yeah that'd be awesome Shot, uh, shotgun to the game then 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm Honestly. saying. Yeah. Well, the thing we is, because I've got two PCs as well, we can play like simultaneously. I've got three PCs because yannick has got one as well. Cool up. Land party. Yeah. A land party. Cool. Does, she, she, land party. Does yeah. she get into the gaming quite a bit? Uh, a little bit. She's playing Hogwarts. Um, uh, that game was fun. Yeah, she's playing that. She plays a bit. That's cool. Not like me. Last yeah. time we did this, we talked about fucking playing Call of Duty and we never did it. <sighs> Mate, we all punked cool. out. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's the time difference, isn't it? It's, I know. It's tough. It it's tough because what, what is it? It's it's two two p.m. here and it's ten yeah, p.m. there. Ten p.m. where I am. That's I a, used to play with Regan a little bit. Regan used to come on and play a little bit back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, you got to show me the ropes on actual on uh, what is it? Warzone? Because yeah. I never really played the Warzone. Mate, you join me and we'll we'll go do it. Honestly, all right. I'm gonna text you. Yeah, we, we need to do the uh, what, what's the one you call like that's uh, the one Hell you keep respawning. Hell divers. Oh, resurgence, resurgence mode. Resurgence yeah. mode. That's the yeah. one. That's the, the thing. I didn't play that. If I played that, I would have probably get hooked. But I was playing the one. You have to fucking wait in the gulag, and I was like, yeah. "This is this is annoying." But it's... we should do a pure muscle radio podcast where all the four screens is just us playing, and we see <laughs> we see like the, the little the gameplay. That'd be kind of cool, right? May I just how do you know do what? that? There is ways. I because well, there is definitely you can multi. You can do it. You can do it. On OBS or something. Yeah, Streamlabs. You can. Oh, That'd be fun. So, yeah, man. That'd be cool. But we got careers at the minute, guys. We have got to focus. Nick's got the New York to go and fucking dominate. So we can't encourage gaming too much right now. Okay, that can wait till oh, after. Man. Okay, wait. Well, we have six meals a day to eat. That takes about like uh, twenty minutes to eat. Yeah, but he's got to put his leg recovery stuff on. He's got to watch Vikings. Yeah, he's yeah. But he's <laughs> you can't add more to the list. Vikings is actually a really good show. I do I, need to I, check it out. Yeah. I need to check yeah, it out. One with the, I'm surprised you haven't watched it. I feel like that's right up your alley. I know. It's weird, isn't it? it's weird. Is the one with Rolo? Like, yes. Yeah, I've seen all the seasons. All of it. Did you like it? Yes. I like it. it. Yeah, I'm on I season like four it. now. Yeah, I, yeah. I, will, I promise I'll watch it. Jason, uh, Antoine, did you watch? Because uh, you finished the boys, right? Yeah, that's good. Did you ever watch uh, what Gen Z? Is that right? Yes, or Gen, Gen B, B? Gen B. Yeah, I did, did you watch? Yeah. Did you see that the fu- that kid that that kid died from that? Oh, show he died in real life, life, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 wait, yeah. Wait, 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 when? In a motorcycle accident, like fucking three days ago. Yeah, I'm gonna come check it. I just got a piss. Oh, yeah, go for it. That sucks. Yes. Which yeah, kid? it's fucking sad. Which kid? The uh, oh, the the main guy, the like the main kid, that the uh, the dude's son who was like, um, I can't remember the name, black kid. I don't know. That sucks. Yeah, it's a bummer. He was like twenty three or twenty four. Yeah, he was really young, super young. It's tragic, man. I'm like, because I when I drive around with my with my vehicle and I see how people drive, and sometimes I'm like, holy shit, I hit the brake. Oh man, I'm oh, like, man. okay, sorry, boys. okay, maybe I know my own. Okay, no pants. I know my vehicle. I know my own skills, <laughs> but I, I I don't trust other people. Yeah, I'm scared of yeah. motorbikes because I again I think I'd be alright, but I'm scared of other people. Yeah, I I mean I fucking grew up riding motorcycles and I have a motorcycle and I've ridden motorcycles on the road mm. a lot and it's scary. And is it scary? Yeah. I'll probably invest in one after my career. Yeah. I'm. A, it doesn't I'm matter rent- if you take a bump or a knock. It, you know. It's... I rented a a Vespa for Italy. I'm going to Italy in two weeks and I got, nice. a, I got a Vespa. What are you doing over there? Holiday. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna spend like a a week in Positano, then go up to Rome and then Florence, and then we're going to go up to uh, Switzerland for a few days. That's going to be so Cap- nice. Capital Switzerland. Yeah. It looks amazing. It does look amazing. I figured that'll cause... be a nice, it'd be a nice shift from like the busyness of Italy. Yeah. And then we're going to go to Switzerland, just kind of like, stare at them. Stare at Patrick used to send me videos of Switzerland because he lives there and oh, it makes it incredible, so man. tranquil. looks amazing. I can't wait. You know, yes. I, we're, uh, we want to just do like plan like a trip a year and have a fucking big trip. And I think next year we yeah. want to go to Japan. Oh, I know you went to it. Japan. Love Japan. Yeah. Love Japan. I think Nick would like Japan a lot. Yeah, I want to go to Tokyo. Yeah, go. Honestly, bro. I want to go to so Tokyo. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I always think, like, get a lot of people together and do it. Like, it's just, like, I'd love that. I'd be so enjoy fun. it. Because yeah. when I went, I took what? three of my friends came and it was such a good time. What's yeah. to do there, though? Everything. What do you, what do you want? What? what do you. I don't know. What's to do here? Like, uh, I don't know. I'm like, they're so. What was there to do in Paris? Eat fucking pastries. Yeah, not a bit, not a bad, not a bad time. That's not, that's not bad. But what I'm saying is, it's the culture. I love, I love me a good pastry. Yeah, I know. everything's beautiful. But, yeah. yeah, but Japan's the same. You go to the temples. Really? Oh, mate. Temples. Yeah, dude. Also, the, I hear the food, the culture, everything. It seems like the culture's crazy. amazing. 
It seems intimidating. It's not though. It's like you go there. It's very formal, yeah, and very respectful and right. orderly. And the order means there's no chaos, and you feel relaxed. Beautiful. You're like this is beautiful. You go to a train station. It could have a million people walking through it. Everyone's synchronized. It's yeah. like wow. Okay, and you feel obliged to be synchronized. You're like, okay, let's follow suit, which is brilliant because that's what we lack in the world now. Everyone seems to think, oh, I've got to fucking do it my way. Everyone just blends together and makes everything pleasant. They got, and they got everything you're familiar with there, man. You know, go get your McDonald's coffee if you need it. Like, it's not like things aren't available. Um, yeah. The food's pretty good, you know, if you like, you know, that kind of food. They do cater do for like us. like that kind of food, yeah. Um, and then obviously all the technology and stuff, you can go like to the arcades and stuff and you can get on the, the bullet train, go on that. I suggest going on the bullet train and traveling from Tokyo. I just want to go on the Kyoto. bullet train after I saw that movie, the bullet train. Bullet train. Yeah. Good oh, film. I like that film. I thought it was top. I actually, yeah. I actually yeah. thoroughly enjoyed that movie. Yeah, I did yeah, as well. It was good. It was good. So get on the bullet train because it takes you from Tokyo to Kyoto, which is also a really nice town. Um, yeah. There's a lot to do. Watch. Let me give you a suggestion here. If you want to know about Japan, on YouTube, there's a channel called Abroad in Japan. It's a British guy mm-hmm. called Chris. He's got like 3 million followers. He lives in Japan. He has for 10 years. And his channel is brilliant. He shows you all the funny side of Japan, what you can do for cheap if you want to spend a lot, different hotels, different things. Like, like um, you go to onsens. So you can have like the onsen showers, whatever they call them. He shows you rural. He shows you city. Like He shows you everything. It's a really good channel. So I'll say that again if anyone's watching this. Abroad in Japan. Abroad really? in Japan. Yeah. Well, yeah. Really good channel. Fun. You'll find yourself watching like probably 10 videos in a row. Me and Yannicka sit down. It's like watching episodes. It's brilliant. Will it, will it help cardio pass by? Yes. If you if you can engage in something and you enjoy listening to someone show you stuff. Um, I have to watch music videos when I do cardio. For some reason, I can't watch long form content, but I can watch short hmm. form. So it's really strange. I can see that. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Some, uh, some YouTube videos and some creative make that fucking cardio go right by. Kratom is good for cardio, do you find? Kratom, oh, kratom here, yeah. makes the cardio fly by like it's nothing. We don't have Kratom it's... in the UK. Really? No, the guy needs to get get it going on over here, man. Yeah, is it exactly. illegal over there or no? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, wouldn't know. Can't see why it's it would kind be. Of, it's kind of bizarre how like locked in you get when you take it. For cardio. I've only taken it once when I did the podcast with Flex because he had some and I was drunk from the Bro, night before because we went out. When I take it for cardio, like I don't pay attention to shit. You just sit and exist. Okay. Oh yeah, this Car- is abroad in Japan. Yeah, so this is Chris anyway. So um very good channel. How to spend fourteen days in Japan, old oh, travel guide. I spent twelve hours at a Japanese That's pretty blah, cool. blah, blah. Yeah, it's just fun stuff. And he's got a right cast of characters that come with him some places. There's like five familiar people, uh some of nice. them are native. So yeah, I just so desperately good. want and need to experience more of the world, man. Yeah. I really want to go to Bora Bora. Yeah. Bora Bora looks nice. It's funny you say that because I was watching a music video in Bora Bora the other day. Conway the Machine, a rapper that I like. He's in Bora yeah. Bora. Bora Bora, really Bora just looks like a nice, peaceful place to be. Mm. You know what else looks really nice? And I, I was talking to Ian about it. He went to Thailand and Thailand yeah. looks incredible. Thailand's cheap as well. You get Thailand, good food Thailand's for like a pound. Supposed to be incredibly affordable. Yeah. 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 Jared. Jared went to Thailand and he, he told oh, me recently. like how incredibly cheap it really is over there. Yeah, like yeah. it's stupid cheap. Yeah, this is amazing. This it's not cheap in Bora Bora, by the way. No, no, I didn't no. know. But that that's but it's pretty. It's worth the money. Yeah, yeah oh, I feel man. like that's incredible. Look, at, look how peaceful that is. Man, yeah, you wouldn't want to come home, would you? You'd be like, this is this is life. This is heaven. If heaven yeah, exists, like this, that's. That's, That's a nice day. Won the Olympia. I'm going to go take a nice vacation. Well, Sando go, sitting buddy. in that shack, rubbing his head. A, that's a fucking we made plan, it. Nick. I'm about it. You need a victory. You need a victory party. We best be invited. Big party yeah. in Bora Bora. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping. Bring your own beers. BYOB. Wait, is it in the middle of the fucking <laughs> ocean? Yeah. I used it's to it's, it's literally like a deserted island, pretty much. Wow. In the, in between Australia and South America. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I was just out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh, yeah. I do. I really do. I actually want to go to Australia and Brazil, too, at one point. Yeah. Australia, I would like to go to. Just to see. Jasmine's Dude, got some family in know. Australia. Dude, after having a flight from uh, UK to, like, to uh, Toronto again, 
with how long it was and, and like too just long? sweating. Dude, sweating. Just take yeah. a diazepam. Oh, yeah. The fights. Well, that's the only downside, right? The fights are just long as shit. Oh, you can't. Sorry, I'm no. suggesting the wrong fucking thing. It's like telling me to. Dick. Sorry, dude, I'm putting you back on the bad path. No, for sure, dude. I, dude, <laughs> oh, I, I, James, Xanax this, on, on flights. Xanax and drinking okay. on flight. You don't think I would do that if I would like be able to take drugs? Yeah. I, true, I, true. I took so much Xanax before a flight one time. I missed the flight. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I was in. I was in the seat of like. I woke up like. I went Uh-oh. to the just the counter. I said, "Hey, where's my flight?" It left two hours ago. What's your name? Antoine. We called your name for 40 minutes. You was in a deep... Oh, I, was my sit- God. I was sitting right in front of them. Yeah. They probably did shake you as well. You were just gone. Maybe. So, yeah, I can't yeah. take diazepam or Xanax. Yes, yeah, so you've got to no, sit and experience no, 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 the whole flight. But, uh, so, so, Australia is, like, so long. Even, like, uh, Dubai and all this shit is, like, it's a long time. In yeah. the- Fucking long, yeah. yeah. Oh. Jas- Jasmine wants to go visit because Jasmine's from... South Africa. South she Africa to go. Yeah, oh. she's got family. But she still has family back there. Out That'd there be a fun there. trip. Yeah, it would be cool. I, w- I definitely want to go. But yeah, I've only I been can't... to Africa, but North Africa, like Africa, like uh, Tanzania, and uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I've never been to. What about South? Egypt? Egypt. I'd love to go to Egypt. I, I haven't been to Egypt. Fu- I want to see the f- the fucking pyramids, man. I want to see. Me too. Guys, the only reasons anyone I know used to go to Egypt was to get their steroids back in the day. Used to get their, they used oh, to get their fuck, testosterone huh? from there. It used to be really easy. That's so funny. All Pure the British Egyptian guys used to go there. Huh? Yeah, they used to all go there, but I don't think mm. it's the same no more. <laughs> but it does look cool. The pyramids would be quite a cool site. Yeah, it would so. look cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cool. So we have we have the the fucking Arnold South Brazil. America. Uh, yeah. yeah. So who's all doing that? We've got what Tonio's doing it. Uh, Raphael, we've got Good Vito. Yeah. Uh, who's Williams that Martin. Big... Williams. Yep. He looks mm-hmm. good. Looks crazy. Yeah, he does. And I know that uh, Carlos Thomas had to drop out. I guess there was a, a death in the family. So sorry. Yeah, uh, to... yep. Bless him. Our, con- our condolences to, to Carlos yeah, and his family. For sure. For sure. It's yeah. never easy. To... I'm going to go on a whim here and I'm going to pick Tony O to win. Tony yeah. looks you know, fucking you know what's good. funny? I, yeah, I said that in a group chat and. Uh, they were you guys who was it you Justin that said that Rafael is going to win? I don't remember. I mean, I I think I do I do have Rafael pick to win. I just said that I think Tonio can definitely outcondition him, but I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know with with size. What's I've happening. never seen them. Obviously, we we all have never seen them sit next to each other. Uh, and the one thing I said about um, Rafael because we all seen him at the Arnold is I think that was his best overall package to date. Yeah. I don't think it was his most conditioned package yeah, to date, but I think as the thing. overall, he it was his best. Yeah. Now, if he can show up in better conditioning, have that size, the, the fullness, yeah, yeah, he can win, right? But if Tonio just comes out of the woodworks here and chops everybody, I, I can see Tonio winning. I and wouldn't for that be reason, surprised. For that reason, I, I am going to pick Tonio to win. Tonio nice. is, is improving at a rate that's incredible. Like, his waist even looks smaller than it ever has. And that's from someone that's already got like this tiny, tiny waist. But the shoulders, the arms, the quad sweep, like he's only yeah. going to have trouble with bigger guys like the Knicks, the Andrews. Yeah, no, like, no. But in that, in that crop of people that aren't got carrying the muscle like you guys, like you say, like the Raffers and that, I think he can really do some damage. Dude, Tonio has every, He has it all. He's not missing anything. He's going to be like and the I, new... Antonio, like, he's not, he's not a small guy. No, he's not. Right? He's got a lot. He has got a lot of muscle. He's just a sure. little short. It's just know? height. Yeah, it's height. But he has he's got like, a lot of muscle. He's like a little black hottie. But he also oh. he also just has very round muscle belly. Look, look how round he looks. So yeah. round. It's a great look. Look at the waist. Well, it's, it's like the same like size as his fucking arm. It's like a Dex- Dexter abs. Yeah, it looks like... I talked to there. Tony a lot, and I, I do know that they were pushing pretty hard. So I love I your back like and him, forths. They make me laugh. I feel like him and him and Justin have, are are figuring it out. So Justin's yeah. his coach, yeah. Jacoby, yeah, yeah. Yep. He's now coaching um, Rodriguez as well, isn't he? Justin, who who he actually kind of yeah, good yeah. now too. Yeah, he's looking better for sure. Yeah, he does. He looks because really Justin good. is really good if he gets if he gets the. Condition. I'm just. I'm gonna. I want to see how that peak goes for Detroit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He could win Detroit if he comes if, in with the way he's looking. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't disagree. He has a uh, when he's on, it's pleasing. When he's off, it's not. It's it, isn't that it's not pleasing at all. 
Which guy? Yeah, Which guy? It, Justin. Justin Rodriguez. If he pulls it in and the waist is in and he holds it tight and he's got that nice Victor Martinez y front double. Like, yeah. It's a good look. You know, it's Back weird because I, well. I feel like I feel like that long head of his tricep is really full, filled out and round, and you see it in the front double and you see the hang. Yeah. Yeah. But in like the side shots, it just seems like he may, might so be dealing with like some nerve issues. Or yeah, I think it's a bit of atrophy there, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit of atrophy in the tricep. Yeah, uh, he's had that for a while, hasn't he? Yeah, I think so. And it, you know, I'm that's that's a tough thing again. When that... Listen, buddy, buddy, you're looking. You have to look for what the holes. Because everyone's good, so you got to look. For yeah, what's... and I hate I hate to say it to sound critical or anything, but it's just something that yeah I've noticed in his physique. That, but, but look like at the right condition here, improvements. He holds off all right there, doesn't it? Because his biceps are so peaky. Yep, and and I, like I said, the long head of the tricep still hangs low and sweeps. Yeah, yeah. He's looking in good condition, man. You can kind of like see it there, and I think I think the same thing happened with Ian a little bit. Like Ian's Ian's like short he because Ian's tricep. arms in like two thousand and like eighteen were like. Yeah, I remember when he did Spain. I was like, oh, "Fucking hell!" And I'm not saying they got terrible; they didn't ever get terrible. He's still no, of world class. But yeah, there's yeah. slight. But you yeah, see, I think it's just on his, on his right arm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it happens. Yeah, you mean you, you don't mean know it's, it's coming? Is that what you mean? It's flat. Yeah, yeah just compared to the other side. So oh, some sort of it was perhaps. because like the only guy that's like really pops out like that that's like incredible that I ever seen in my life was like Kevin Lavroni, and then. I've always tried to build that myself. I tried all kinds of push downs. I mean, yeah, look at Nick. Nick the most muscular. Nick, it's fucking yeah, it's, so great. Great. it's a genetic think, thing. So, shape. Nick, is the shape of your arm always been like that? Yeah, I've I've always had round triceps. Yeah, arms. so it's like I don't think you can change that. It's like the way your abs are shaped. No, but I think he. You can make a muscle bigger, but there is he definitely if you look. Yeah, you look at the other side. Like Jake you said. see it on his left arm. Yeah. He has that sweep in that tricep, and on the right. Is arm, it because the way his hand is positioned, his wrist? I really it's don't. Just, think he might have. He might have hurt himself. Yeah. Again, the funny thing with this is, it's probably something spinal. That's what I. <laughs> that's what I it's always yeah, right. It's weird, uh, isn't it? Because it's always yeah. yeah. Who, it's like Coleman that? with the what uh, kind of Latin back tricep. You have spinal. Oh, it was my question. Maybe like, spinal. <laughs> yeah. kind of I broke my back. Have? Spinal. Spinal. That spinal. black and white front shot's a nice, nice shot, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. And he's Crazy the thing is with things with Justin, he is fucking humongous and takes up a ton of space. It's wide. Very, he's wide. Very wide. Yeah. Very wide. His clavicle is super wide. He definitely does his pull ups. Yeah. He's, he looks like he, a pull up really, guy. He really does have it all. His back shots are, are crazy. Yeah. I hate the hate that I even mentioned the tricep because I don't want it to at all sound like No, but again, dude, we're I just was gonna get a bunch of shit. Good job. I super know. critical. <laughs> we're just trying to think why would he not what what could hold him no. back? The yeah, thing, I think uh, I don't know who said it was. I think it's you, James. Because everybody's good at, at, at our level, we have to talk about the things that are the holes, like you said. You oh, got to be very nitpicky at this. Yeah, point. yeah. Dude, we say like, like uh, I can, you know, I look at myself and my abdominals aren't deep enough and shoulders not wide enough. Yeah. Boom, easy. And Back like, could be wider. Even nice. like even as big and crazy as Nick's legs are, because take look at Nick's legs; they're fucking crazy. It's just because of the way they insert from the front. They need yeah, to Nick, you, we'd all like, I, I, <laughs> you know, like you, ask yourself, do you, if you could have more of something, we'd all say there's something we could have more of. We'd all have an opinion on ourselves. Yeah. So that quarter are. turn you posted, by the way, was fucking bananas. Yeah. yeah this is so cool. What? That quarter turn in the black and white. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a good. It's just so much muscle, bro. You Belgian blue. Crispy somebody, was, somebody was gonna I'd love to see you and that. Jordan just train together, like, just, <clears> just with all the meat out. Just so everyone can just be like, look at these two massive cows. That'd be fun. That'd yeah, be fun. just for so, you know. Where is this? Pure is this room. That was uh, when I no, that was in like a back room up against like a black wall, pretty much. That was when that was right. This was before I did my first in the year pro. Okay, mate. That's cool. Do you know Very what? The, do you know what sets that shot off? It's the little flick of the hair. Yeah, it's the little. <laughs> yeah, it gives it the angle. It's like you're right. These the hair gives right me right. a more aesthetic look, you know. Yeah, it does. Right. Right. Almost a classic, look. streamlined, aerodynamic. Absolutely, and, uh, like you cut through water. Yeah, it's, <laughs> the hairline is still really good. Yeah, Nick, you've done yeah, like a very incredible good. job. You're you're an example of, you know, like you said in the early days, people were trying to be really critical and say shit, but you've just shown that like you can't tell what someone's physique's going to do until they've put on the muscle. It could go so many ways. And you're, 
structurally people were like trying to cuss you and then you've now you're the physique that everybody fucking wants so it just makes me also remember like i was when i was getting shit i was again 18 19 like i wasn't even mature like my body didn't peak like nothing I, i was just big yeah and now like i'm hitting that age where like now the maturity's kicking in now i know how to train in, in a way that works best for me sure and i'm reshaping everything all over again yeah you, you do just got train you just got very, very well. fucking yeah dude you do you definitely do but you just got very big very fast and also had a million followers on instagram so it was like this i would i would have crazy. loved you and luke to be able to do some training together yeah that would have been fun yeah i feel like you two were like two I'm not. I'm not saying you're just genetically gifted because that's not the. I, I, that's work. But I think you two had such potential. It would have been cool to see you two hang out and train, because I feel like you both would have been. You know, just I don't know, just leading the charge, like really would have. It would have been cool. I think he would have uh, certainly enjoyed training with you. Arm day, I agree. Arm day with these guys. Mm. Arm day video. Mate, now I want to go and train. I would, I, I would, I would, with Luke, I'd probably want to do like legs or back. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, Luke was a guy that, would, you know, row five plates, barbell row five plates. He, he, did, he did some, but he was very, um, he was very form adamant. You know, he, he did good. have, he was yeah. not sloppy, I have to say. No, um, not at all. Some things he trained incredibly light and still grew, like his arms. Literally, we'd do triceps, like, and, I mean, he'd just do, like, five, six sets of, like, fuck all weight, and they'd just blow up. It's just, like, one of yeah. the things. But, um, Wait, what is yeah, it? like, I I think it would have been cool. I think you two could have been, like, almost, like, good rivals, but great for the sport. I agree. Yeah. It's a shame we never got to see that young man's full potential. Absolutely. But that's why, you know, we, we still do, we honor, we, we, I still compete mostly because of this, because of him, you know, there's been times where I'm like, I don't know if I should, but you know, you're like, well, he has no lineage in this sport, but you can be a little bit of something to keep people who used to watch us train motivated and happy. And, uh, yeah, I certainly, every show I do, when I go there, I always think of him before I go on stage every time, mm-hmm. yeah. every time. I'm so like, that, are you here uh, with me, kind of thing. You know? That that fist on the ground pose that you start off your posing routine with. Yeah, it was yeah. just like because it was because of him, wasn't it? You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why I love the Arnold Classic as well because I saw. Well, obviously Luke did it and got third, and then the following year we went together with Redcon, and we we went. It was a really cool trip. We went on Aaron Singerman's jet, <laughs> so we just yeah, played flash what? bastards. Yeah. yeah, man, we went on a private jet to the Arnold, and uh, we just had a great time. And I just really liked the Arnold ever since then. So I was, that's I why was, was there the year he got third, man. He looked incredible. Looked good, man, didn't he? Looked really good. A little bit more time on that, you know, a bit more here and there. Would have been, uh, yeah, that's the year. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. That's good incredible. proportions, crazy taper, good detail in the legs. I know he wanted to bring his legs up a little bit. He had a bit of a bad knee. So sometimes we had to stop sessions short because we'd hack and he'd be like, oh, my fucking knee kind of thing. But mm. even so, with a bad knee, those legs ain't too bad, are they? <laughs> no, they're <laughs> too good. shabby. And you know what? I think as long as you're talking about somebody who passed, they're kind of like staying alive a little bit. For sure. Right? For sure. So, yeah. I think it's important to do that. I saw a picture on my Instagram today of me and Cedric, actually, at my old gym. And I was like, Cedric was a good guy. You know, really good guy. I, I Cedric was awesome. Social, I think with social yeah, media, really cool. I feel like we feel the losses more now compared to like back in the day. Like, let's say when um, Andrew Ausbuzzer passed away. People yeah. talked about it, but then we, they wouldn't. I think you move on quickly if there's that. no evidence of the person still. But now because know, we have, right? You know, now with social media, YouTube. I can go on Instagram and look at him. Yeah, you look at his Get stuff posted. You know, so well, and you know, I didn't, I didn't know Luke, but I got to know Luke through the podcast and through his socials and his YouTube. You know, and I've, I felt like that was somebody I was, I was connected Man. and, and he was, it, you know, he had, cr- he had great humor. He was a funny. He was fighter, a I'll tell you. fucking charismatic Com- comedian, absolute comedian. Yeah. I always thought he looked like Eddie Hall. I just like him and Eddie Hall were like long lost brothers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just one's a strong man, one's a man. <laughs> Eddie fucking Hall. And then there's, there's another fuck guy I follow on Instagram, Dwarf Juggernaut. He's a dwarf that looks exactly like fucking Luke. It's like he's oh, his little yeah. dwarf brother. You know Dwarf I Juggernaut? Know him too. Yeah, he looks just like Luke and he's strong as fuck. There's, so. there's a video. That's a funny one. Yeah, man. This is Muscleworks Orpington. Good gym. They've actually just put up my Olympia hoodie next to Luke's, which is a really nice gesture. Oh, yeah. I saw you yeah, made that post. That really That's cool. awesome. 
They, that's a great gym. If you're ever in the UK and you want to go to a good gym, um, Muscle Works Orpington's very, very good. And the owner's a, a good bloke. We've all been there. Mm. That's funny. Yeah, man. Good times. <laughs> Fat fucker. Good that's times. after you won British. Oh, you want guys want to talk about uh, Hunter a little bit? Because he's been looking pretty good. So wait, is is the Pittsburgh, when's the Pittsburgh guest posing? A week before New York. Oh, so oh, you're okay. going to be like literally show ready. That's great. I'd love it. It's awesome. Oh my God, like that's that. crazy. We're also so, going to see Big Rami. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what he's been doing, if he's fixed yeah. anything. Hopefully he's has. I hope so. I know he got some stem cell treatment done. He was working with Dr. Khan. We'll see. Yeah. Is he still um, with Chad? What's cool. the plan? Was, do we know what he's doing? I don't know. I don't know. So here's a preview, because I know that AJ posted a preview somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? That's actually I a saw, friend of was, mine. Was it AJ who posted like uh, all the guys doing the? Maybe maybe I missed. It might have been a story, you know. I think buys and tries. A buys yeah, and well tries today. Okay, 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 okay. Buys and tries. We have a full list. It's kind of that's a crazy guest posing. Like there he is, there, uh, top left, uh, right here. Yes, yep. list. Okay. So you got. Okay, right Andrew, here, yeah. Hunter, Samson. So Hunter, Samson, Big Ramy, Derek, Nick Walker, Andrew Jack, and, and <laughs> Bumpstead's going to be on stage too. He always gets that. Thing, you know, Chris. <laughs> yeah. They love him. Yeah. Shirt, so the got, shirt will be on, but he'll be there. <laughs> he'll be there. Yeah, one Mr. Olympia, two Mr. Olympias, some future Mr. Olympias well, right here. Arnold Classic Champ, Arnold Classic Champ. Crazy. Yeah, yeah like there's some really good lineup in it for a guest pose. Yeah, you know, Speaking you know of guest uh, posing, Hunter I thought looked fantastic, and I and I absolutely hate how much uh, negativity surrounds. Where, man, you know what? It's the same thing, isn't it? It's just it's some little yeah. skinny arsehole yeah. who could never commit himself to so bodybuilding to the level any of us. I, go, RX Muscle posted it, and I I just like he's yeah, got it, a lot of muscle. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I muscle. mean, people were. How could you hate on this for an off-season look? He looks fucking dude. Crazy. And dude. like, if you cut the silhouette, it's a good silhouette. Yeah. The thing is, also like, when you're not super super sharp and you're like that close with the the, the 8K camera. Oh man. Even even us, like from the lower angle of the Gilco cameras, I'm like, dude. Oh, I hate angle. Why do we look soft sometimes? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not soft, right? But it's just <laughs> yeah, unless, you know. unless you're super sh- super shredded, like these type of lightings and stuff, and sometimes even Can't like that. The protan makes you look like softer when you're not mm. when you're guest posing, my friend. Sometimes, but well, that, that's Hunter peak off season. Really that's good. great. Dude, it's even in the two nineties, man. Waist is controlled. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he hit a side tricep, tricep for fuck's sake. I know. Yeah, yeah no, Hunter's a really good bodybuilder. Booty shot. He's a really good bodybuilder and a really nice fucking guy. And I, it's such a. It, Fucking it's so annoying seeing so many people talk. So, so what are they hating on? Oh, good. Well, oh. obviously, get a hat on. Talk about the hat. Yeah. Well, and also, people always say this thing about, oh, it looks like it's melted. Yeah, the hat? You're, you're off season with oil on, oil on you. So, I get they're trying to say, like, people look like chocolate almost. I'm like, well, yeah, we're our heaviest with shiny stuff on us. What the fuck do you expect us and to look like? I, I saw comments where they were like, somebody posted it and said, will Hunter qualify for the Olympia this year? Well, fucking duh, he will. And, then, you know, you're talking about a guy who is fourth in the Olympia, and there are people commenting, like, not with that gut. Like, dude. Bro, that's not like a gut for an offseason. This guy, he has, like, this guy just hit a side tricep and has abs and obliques in, at this. 290. Like, look at that. <laughs> dude, people, people don't realize, because they haven't been up close to him and realize how much muscle is on that. No. Yeah. yeah. I think it was great, to be honest, for a uh, uh, guest posing in the offseason. Super uh, good. He's fun. He's like um, – yeah, it really improved. I think a lot of size. But you know, remember when Derek did that guest posing and people were like, oh, "What yeah. the fuck?" Yeah. yeah. So, okay. I'm, 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 but with Derek, that was Derek still sucking down to stay in the two twelve. So Derek, yeah, who, when, uh, when Derek came out of the two twelve, who's on? Sorry, that's all right. Oh, that's you. Who, oh, that's you, Nick. <laughs> we're catching up with the real okay. real time. It's real when it happens in real time. Um, no, no, I, I think I, I think Hunter looks really good. He Look does, but here. Derek, Derek at that time, he was talking about how he was eating like 200 carbs and still doing 45 minutes of cardio a day just to not get too heavy in the off season. Oh my God, that's awful. It's yeah. Weird, isn't it? oh my it's God. weird how much muscle Derek has. I remember when I first Crazy. met him, I was like, he's kind of like he a little was, cloud. The kid was little governing cloud. himself. Yeah, he's he like, is. <laughs> the cloud. Like, yeah. When I want to grow up, I want to be a cloud. 
It's going to be a good Olympia, man. I'm looking forward to seeing you back up there, Nick. Yeah, I think Me you too. are. It's, it's, yeah. uh, well, this it's justified this time. Yep. You know. It's a really cool storyline, man. I think I think you're going to have a lot of people behind you on this one. So you will. Exciting. You will. You do. It's not even a will. You do. Yeah. Um, is it in uh, Vegas again? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. See. You like it in Vegas better, Nick, or you like Florida, yeah? The only Florida. downfall to Vegas as a whole is the time difference for me. Mm. Yeah. Because the majority of, like, my life and my, my friends, why like, everything is more East Coast. Yeah. yeah. Um, You know, so well, I think that for a lot of people, that's a make or break. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it, so it's not like a complete make or break, but... Um, it's definitely so, a downfall. So is that you saying you're not going back to Vegas? Well, yeah, I have to. I live there. Well, that's what, well. Then obviously, oh, the time difference between Florida and Vegas. You're saying the. the well, you're saying because doing the show at that time, it means that people he no, his friends I'm, I'm talking about the time in general. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're. Ta- I thought you were talking about the, the time difference between where you're at Eastern and, and West time. Or yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's like the only like downfall to it's but like parents and shit. Vegas like as. Uh, as a bodybuilding, I mean, it's you really you can't get much better, you know. Yeah, I mean, Florida is very, very, very comparable in ma- in many ways, you know, than one. Um, but it also depends weatherwise too. I think. What do you, what do you like, humidity or dry heat? Yeah, Florida. Yeah, what's your the What's your body like? like? What, you know, what's your preference? You know, do you prefer yeah. do you prefer the dry heat from Vegas? Cold. Um, I do. So I, I think dry heat is, is better, you know, especially from a bodybuilding perspective, yeah. honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, but living in two different places in Florida, I lived in Stewart and I lived in Tampa. Yeah. I will tell you that Tampa for me specifically, that humidity in Tampa was, was like a murder, bro. Like it was insanity. Yeah. Um, Stewart, Florida, it was humid, but it was just more like, just, it was just hot. You know, yeah. it was just hot, which is fine. I, don't, I, I prefer heat. I don't care. I quite like but, Boca. When I was in Boca for three months, I was like... Boca's not horrible. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. But Tampa was, was kind of nasty. There was a little gem of a gym in Boca as well, Nick, called uh, Athletic Th- Factor. It was I've quite heard of small, it, yeah. Really good little gym. It had all yeah. the original hammer strength. Um, like, yeah, it was a gem. Uh, flex fitness stuff. Like, yep. cr- great gym. Like, I used to like training there. That was the one. Um, yeah, athletic factor. I used yeah. to go to um, the Busy Body that's up there. Yeah, that's around the that's, corner. That's not far from this one. Yeah, that was yeah. a good one. That wasn't too bad either. And then obviously John's in Sawgrass. I went there yep. a couple of times. That's pretty good. That, that was kind of far. Yeah, that's a bit more of a trip, in it? I went there. I went there. I lived in Tampa. Me and Kamal, we drove up there mm. uh, one, day, one day to train there. Great gym. Honestly, posing, great, great good facility. posing room is really yeah. fresh. I was very impressed. Yeah, same. I liked it. Hey, change the subject, guys. I just saw that Flex Lewis is not with Yamamoto anymore. He's no, he's with, with uh, Nah, Max, man. Yeah. He's been gone. He's been gone about a year now. A year now. I'm out of the loop, yeah. I guess. But he's yeah. with mm-hmm. this, uh, this Brazilian, uh, Brazilian company. company. Is that is that new or that was a? Uh... It's massive. I don't know. Brazilian stuff's massive, though, isn't it? Is that that company that? Raffles with and so titanium, so, um, titanium supplements or something. Max titanium. Oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I think yeah, it's a brand of big company. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, Flex. It's weird because Flex had his own line with obviously with Yamamoto. So obviously now, I wonder if hey, he'll have his own line. The deal's not the good deal anymore. You got to switch it up. You know. Yeah, I know there's a lot of issues. <laughs> well, sometimes with Yamamoto, I know there was a few issues with getting product to people because I oh, had really? that problem myself. Yeah, so hmm. kind of bit of a make or break sometimes because if yeah. you can't get product, you How can't you promote. promote. Yeah. 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 So makes a very difficult Jeez. job for people. Jeez. Yeah. Hey, Justin, did you um come up with some Q&A this time or we didn't do it? I did. I did. I just I just fucking posted it like five minutes ago, but I got a few questions. You guys want to answer? Yeah, yeah. Questions? Let's do that. And then we can show it off, guys, because I'm sure uh, James is hungry and tired, and then Nick is... I've got, uh, I got some eggs and Brazil nuts to eat. Oh, oh, Brazil nice. nuts and eggs? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. All well, right. on the topic of food, I got this one. Everyone's top five fast food. How about what's your guys' go-to fast food for bodybuilding? 
Five Guys, Chick Fil A. Five Guys never five. fails. Five Guys never fails. Five Guys personally. never fails. Yeah. yeah. So I don't have a Five Guys in my town. I have a Five Guys like thirty miles away. So I have an In and Out, and I know Nick's a fucking big In and Out hater. I hate why it. it just doesn't compare. Hate it's not dirty out. enough. Oh, it's so good though. In and Out is so shit. Like it's it is not, not shut up. It's, it's, a bit tame. it's a bit tame. Is Let's it be honest. It's a bit tame. Five chips guys don't, the chips don't compare. Let's be honest. No, the fries aren't. The fries don't compare. I'm not gonna lie. The burgers I, don't compare. What do you mean, bro? I want five guys now. <laughs> it's uncomparable. <laughs> okay. it's, it's I'd five not, guys. I'd, I'd rather good. have Shake Shack. Dude, than I, might, I might have five guys yeah. tonight. You should. Get three hundred again, bro. I know you're close, dude. You know what? I'm two ninety two this morning, and I've I know. I, you might as well I push did my it. diet yesterday. I did my cardio. Why am I fucking? I'm. I think I'm dieting you, still. I can't even fucking have eat. one snack. You those days? That's a bygone era, brother. Now you're uh, yeah. you're well, rebound king. Now, bro. Can't go yeah. back now. Back to the three hundred. Dude, my blood pressure yeah. wasn't good. You, I can't believe you motherfuckers talking shit on the internet like that. It's okay, yeah. but it's not it's like, good. Yeah, come on. I'd rather have McDonald's. No, don't say it. Don't you say really? that. Can I, can I interject fine. with something as well? Have you okay. ever had First Watch for breakfast? That's really good. Fantastic. Oh, first love it. Watch? I've never had it. First what Watch is good. I first like First Watch. Is watch. so good. Oh. Really I like fun. Broken Egg. You ever have Broken Egg? Is that, one, is that another place? Or is that... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've never tried that. Snoo- have you had That's Snooze FM? One. Snooze yeah. A- Snooze AM? You no. You're up words. You're speaking of places now. <laughs> snooze FM. No, sn- snooze, snooze is a place in Texas. Is it? Amazing breakfast as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really good. Is there a town where you can get both five guys in and out within like 15 minutes and really like Oops. compare? Yeah, Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, maybe that's yeah, the thing. That maybe I live, something I live five minutes from each in the opposite way. <laughs> and then you just, you just five guys all the I, way. Yeah, I'm not going to deny it. The you go five left guys or right. Five guys, guys is better. And there's also guys. Shake Shack 10 minutes away. Shake Shack, whoa. Wait I quite like those flat chips. Shake Shack yeah. is pretty fucking good. Fries. Shake, Shake Shack, Shack is, is extremely good. good. Yeah. Shake Shack it's good. like, it's less of a natural burger feel than Five Guys, I find. 100%. It's 100%. more like a, a, like the smasher. Like, it's more like a little fast food. I find like Five Guys is something that you could grill in your backyard. Yeah, but that's it why it's good. Eat. It's like a street yeah, food that's why almost. It's good. You know, yeah, so I had I had White Castle for the first time when we were in. Uh, you in, hated uh, it in Columbus. It was okay. I didn't it's hate not, it, but yes, yeah, it's, it's not the it was, Yeah, it wasn't great. So yeah, like I was pretty, pretty let down. No, I mean it was like these little tiny sliders. I got like fucking nine oh, burgers like this yeah, big, and I was shit. still hungry. Fuck tiny sliders. <laughs> yeah, I just I got I landed I landed in Columbus at like fucking midnight, and it was like it make do opens. So I door dashed a bunch of the hotel. And, yeah. I like when you're not having to focus on the plan and you can just go and deliver it. Yeah, I'll be honest, Justin. I, I don't know how you do it. What? I have to focus on the plan no matter what. Oh, I mean, I, listen, I got I got a bunch of delays and I I packed one less meal than I was really than I needed for the entire day. Prepare yeah. to fail. So, so it was like, prepare, yeah, prepare I had like four hours of delays. So I, I intended on being mad. there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I intended on being there and being able to like Wait, That will cost shopping. you your qualification this year. Sorry. <laughs> that one, but that one set of sliders, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucked it. <laughs> oh man, is, is there another question, Justin? Yeah, let me see if I got something. Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, I posted this a little premature. Not it's okay. I didn't post shit. Enough time. I was napping five minutes before the podcast. You were napping. Mm-hmm. Your yeah, your voice. Dude, is still I, I, I moved to a new house, right? So I woke He's up early, did cardio, went to the new house. I'm gonna move in. I paint, painted some stuff, the edging around the outlets, and then I drove back. For the podcast, and then I fell asleep in five minutes. So, so you're getting a new, a new place, huh? That's exciting. Yeah. Congrats so to you. Thank you. Everyone's Thank you. Getting yes, new places. Uh, yeah, I know. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little house and stuff, and with my fiance, and good. it's a good, uh, it's a good opportunity we have to get into the market because her mom owns yeah. it. So we're gonna kind of take over a little bit. Okay. The thing here, I don't know if it's the same thing in, anywhere else in the world right now, but in Canada, if you don't have any help, or if you're not fucking rich. You're gonna rent for the rest of your life. Yeah, you need yeah. It's really yeah, hard to get to the market here. So um, we're lucky that we're getting a little bit of help, and uh, we'll see where that goes. Like, how much yeah, deposit you, would you, you need met? to be able to get a house, or do you have to earn a lot that they give you the mortgage? Is that what it is? Um, well, if you want to live like in a, like close to like a somewhat like a city, unless you want to live like in the boonies, there, mm. you're gonna you're gonna have to spend a lot of money to get just an, yeah. a house. 
So therefore, like, like number one, your deposit's going to be huge. And then number two, your mortgage yeah, is going to be huge. Well. Then you get a mortgage, yeah. and they'll, they'll fuck you with the it's interest, right? Like, I'm not a realtor. My family's a realtor. She knows about it more. But it's like, yeah. even if you have like 200 grand put aside, it doesn't mean you can have a house. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, that's fucked up. So when I bought my place, I have to do, because I have, it's like, my income is mostly from cannabis. And since it's not federally legal, oh, yeah, I, can't just, yeah. I can't just go to the bank and, and get a, a, a loan. Well, just, it's like you walk in. Uh, yeah, it's like saying cannabis in a in a bank is like saying bomb on an airplane. It really is. Yeah. You, you say that, they're like, have you ever the heard fuck of out of here. Money laundering, though. Yeah, I have heard of. <laughs> I have heard of money laundering. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> but listen, I have actually had to launder my money I paid taxes on through my my gym account to like, hey, it's fucking it's a mess, whatever. But so I had to use this specific program for cannabis. So I had to have like twenty percent down and nine percent interest. Yeah. Like totally, totally fucked. Oh, when you're talking, about, you know, twenty percent down on a on a home, you're spending yeah. a ton of fucking money. Yep. Like, how, how did you expect anybody to do that? Like, I, obviously, I was in a good position to be able to do that, but who just has six figures to to invest and buy a home? I know. Yeah. That's what in, I mean. Like, saying, you know, and if our fucking parents are like, "Yeah, by your age, I was married, had a house, dude. You you need to have five thousand dollars. You could buy a fucking house." My dad it's bought like, our childhood up. home for fucking thirty nine grand. Yeah, so shut up. Five percent down. Gave him five hundred bucks. And moved in. Shut yeah. up, dad. Such a different time. Such <laughs> Get the fuck time. out of here, dude. Jesus yeah, Christ. and he still has it. It could probably sell it for five hundred grand right now. That's mad. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> you know, I bought my house and I'm already just losing money. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So I have I have one here that says, uh, "What if you could choose one superpower? What would it be?" Oh, well, that's a good one. Mm. <sighs> ah. I would like I to have about... a X-ray vision to see through clothes, and I could see everyone. You want to see boobies? No, I want to. No, I want to be able to teleport. That's a good teleport's one. Teleport's good. That's a good one. Hey, I think you you said that before, Nick. You're pretty consistent. You're good. Yeah, because I hate flying, so I want to yeah. teleport. That's true. Teleport like Koku. Good. Who wants Dragon Ball Z? Anyone Dragon? I'll just yeah, like yeah. get. I'll just yeah. grab my luggage and. <laughs> you know. What if you can't teleport? Listen. What if you can't teleport anything else, and you teleport and you land naked? Yeah, the clothes oh, come free, free show for oh, the man. world, baby. Fuck oh, okay. yeah. Right? I mean, if you're choosy, you can just like, can you land like Arnold with fist down and you're naked and you uh, like shot well, what from behind? Can I have like, like, every time I land, can I have like that Terminator noise pop up? Too? And the fucking big <laughs> ring around you that's staticky. Fuck. What, yeah. what if you teleport like Arnold but your ass. shins are underground? Oh, fuck, I'm stuck. And then you just fucking have like gangrene or something and your shins <laughs> fall off because you're concrete. Claw, clawing you I was going to say... With the teleportation thing, surely it only work if you knew the place you were teleporting to. You'd have to have yeah. been there before. Would you teleport like, into into somebody inside of somebody? Yeah, no. But I'm just thinking, if you haven't been somewhere, you don't that know about to, to teleport there, do you? You need to have, yeah, with you, with you showing up behind. You need to have like, been somewhere to know if you can teleport there. What if you could teleport just your dick? Well, what if what if you saw like a live feed? <laughs> I mean that now. That's you can that's fuck now. I'm thinking of an episode. This is like an episode of the. Be like, I'm here. I'm here, guys. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck is this? <laughs> just, oh man! Did I would. Work? Um, I think just have Wolverine's regenerative capabilities because then I'll just get that's into. Good, too. So they could train your one. quad and like when, uh, you know, do legs well, properly. So I, I would there's... just get into all sorts of drama with people I don't like and know that they couldn't do shit. And just take that fucking hit, oh, that hit to the chin and then watch your lip just yeah, but heal, I, heal so, itself. Yeah. You'd rather be Wolverine than the Hulk? Yeah. Yeah, because you still Hulk can't normal. control it. I want to look normal as well. I don't want to look like green and fucking rage, outraged. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Huge green good. dick. You know what? Yeah, Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. There's my green dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I feel I feel like I would be tempted to want to be able to time travel, but I feel like you might see you don't something. Really, you don't, you yeah, you don't really want to meddle with that. With that. You could make you could make a ton of money, but you could also just like uh, dude, I could, you know, I could rob a bank, you know. You that's how you do it. No, Nick, you just remember teleport. you know, the the. Away. I would teleport the, in there, pack all my shit, and be like, mm, bye bye now. Oh, that's what you do. Yeah. Well, again, what if you can't teleport? Uh, without any. We're thinking too much. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm teleporting. Okay, we're making our we're making our it's own rules. pockets is coming. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think. Uh, um, what about? Uh, does nobody want to fly? I I'd like yeah. to fly. But um, would it get boring? When I don't you like. I think it gets boring. What if you teleport yeah. yourself? Like, just I mean, kind of use, kind of useless, forward. right? You're like, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'd want to do something that could either get me rich or make me extremely powerful. And then you're like, what am I? I'm just gonna fly and just show off, wave mm. to people. What if you make your limbs super stretchy, but like all your limbs? Wink, Mister yeah, Fantastic. Big stretchy dong. Dude, you can I do like that. It. 
That's why he's misses. That's why he's got a fit bird. Uh, yeah, he's got a stretchy cock. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What what yeah. would be my superpower, man? Dude, I was just watching this show. It's called Invincible. It's on Prime. Yeah, the uh, except, anime. Except, yeah, anime. Yeah. Yeah. really good. That show's I sick. Really, I, I was Only man. The last that show's episodes. sick. I have one episode left. This on season. the second season. Yes. Yeah, I'm like halfway through the second season. I'm, yeah, I'm it's great. It. It's great. And um, he's actually in Mortal Kombat one, the new one. Omni Man is he? Yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. that. He's got the finishers. Do do Omni Man is such a good bad guy. I he's just, such a bastard. It's fucking. I sick. know. There's no. There's yeah. no one stronger. There's no oh, one by stronger. Nick. Oh, by Nick. I I wish that uh, that um that show like for example I know like Seth Rogen's in it. He's got a lot, lot of uh, celebrities that are guests uh, talking in it. But what yeah. if you could? You know, back when we were kids, we had like a, we had like a Pokemon a day. One new episode, come back from school, Pokemon. There was a new episode every day. Why can't they mm-hmm. just do that with something like that? It was it's so good. Mm, Why can't you just make Maybe. one episode a week forever? Like make fifty two episodes a year, like Ninja Turtles. Mm. What about felt... the new X Men? You guys watch that? Yeah, ninety seven. They're continuing it, aren't they? I haven't like, seen it yet, but I, I haven't either. But I used to watch the old school one in ninety seven. Did I you see the that? that? Do you see they're also talking about doing a continuation of Spider Man as well? No the animated series I because the how much interest ninety seven awesome. again. So that would be cool because that's the best Peter Parker. Yeah, I agree with that. So, the one from the show, the yeah. comics. Hmm. Yeah, I did, you can all relate really to that. It's like Batman. I've been watching. I watched Batman most of the episodes this year. Really? An animated, yeah, series. I felt I like I had to. The... Is it the is it older stuff or it's newer stuff? Older, older. I find that the storylines is kind of like they're really simple. Like, yes, yeah, simple and kind of slower pace and not very profound. So well, they're kind of like they're kind of like classic, kids... like spaghetti western style. It's not supposed guess, to be too. I guess. I yeah. guess. There's no depth like, to them. Like, Put it that like way. Invincible yeah. is pretty like there's a lot of depth to it. There is. Know? Yeah. Mm, it's, it's more mature, to be fair. More mature and violent. Mm. Dude, it is fucking super violent. I'm not gonna yeah. spoil anything for you, Justin. But there's this one scene. Have you? I, I won't spoil it. But you, anyway, it's you can't say you nothing. You should spoil it. He's like, oh, I just I'll, I'll get. I'll get back on it because I, I, I think I watched like the first two or three episodes. Yes, but then they, they shut then it I, down I, and then they, they came it. out with three the three last just now. Mm, they do that. Ah. They do that sometimes. Yeah, it's like, dude, why would you do only four episodes and then you just oh drop a season? The last three episodes in three months, dude. What are you doing? This the whole fun of this is that I want to watch. I want to watch it in a row, right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Sucks when they do that. Anyways, yeah. speaking of watching so stuff, I, not to not Nick to push us too far. Nick to the yeah, Nick to the teleport. He, he's at he's at pinion. Oh, shit. <laughs> the new thing. Did you guys watch the Phil Heath thing uh, documentary? No, I didn't. A friend no, of mine makes it. films. He said it could. He said he wished that. The, the creators of the film and Phil were got a little bit more uncomfortable and went a bit deeper because it could have been a really good entry point for people outside of bodybuilding who didn't know who Phil was. But sure. they played it quite safe from what I understand. And it's yeah. if you already know Phil, then it's okay. But for like it won't bring newcomers to the sport. And that's not me being critical. Yeah. It's my friend no, who no. is a filmmaker and sure. I trust his opinion. So, so like, they yeah, could have got a bit more ballsy with, with it. Generation. I think, as, I mean, as just a bodybuilding fan and enthusiast, it's probably and, great. And I, but I know, I know Phil Heath's story. Exactly. I know, I, you know, so when I watched it, I was, I was, uh, I enjoyed it. Oh, a lot. you watched yeah. it? I can see that. Yeah, I did. I watched it. It's I rented good? it and been, yeah, I watched it during cardio. Mate, it's good that Seven Bucks produced it. Like, it had major, like, it was, qual- it was, it was quality. Oh, it was it's quality. And, and, you know, no, 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 and no, listen, no, no, no. Just listening to Phil talk about, and you just kind of get some insight as to the challenge of, Holding that title for seven fucking years. It must years. be so it's hard. Like, you would get worried about trying to even go for the title and thinking all the stresses. Talking, Imagine having I'm worried it about, and thinking I'm worried you can about break. qualifying for yeah. even get to the It must be so hard yeah, with yeah, these yeah. genetics. Huh? Well, yeah, there is true. We're <laughs> free, free Caucasians here, all trying to do their best. Yeah. 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 There was pictures of me. He's like, he's like, this is the picture of me before I ever started working. I know, basketball. Like, he's oh better than all of us now. Me too, Yeah. Yeah. This is fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, must be. Yeah, so it hard. was cool. I mean, they, and you know, they had all the interviews on there. They, t- you know, it was Jay talking about how he saw him at his first show backstage, and it was like, oh you know, five, was, uh, oh four, whatever it was. Can't yeah, remember. he's like, you're gonna, you're gonna be a Mr. Olympia. He Can said, you imagine he, he was gonna be Mr. Olympia, but he didn't expect it to happen that quick. 
No. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I didn't think you were going to de- fucking dethrone, dethrone me. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bastard. But, you know, cause when's the last time you guys were at a at a local level show where you even saw anybody that you're like, this guy's going to be a good pro? Well, I got a really good story about that. It doesn't. I got a really good story about that. So I was with Dorian Hamilton. And then we're just a local show here. And I look across the the, the expo hallway or whatever. And I'm like, Dorian, who the fuck is that? And then Dorian said, I think it's his name is Quentin. I said, Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, just turned pro naturally. I'm like, dude, dude. Let's who's this coach? Let's fucking go talk to him and like tell him to come train with us and see where this goes. So then we went to talk to Quentin and they said they have a coach. He would he just turn pro naturally. And he was already looking like Quentin already, right? Just a smaller version. Yeah. Yeah. And then we just Dorian started coaching him and stuff and we just helped him, you know improve the the as fast as he did because Quentin's unbelievable. Yeah, because he it's not he would have, he would have still been been in Markham with his buddies there. He would have done great things, I'm sure. But he was uh, also a diehard natty. He was like Yeah. Like true yeah. true blue. Yeah, we got him at the, at the tail end of that. You so, see those pictures of him natural and you it's like it's Oh I know. Leave. It's incredible. And so yeah. so that's that's the the only story that I have of something similar where I was like, dude, you could be the, you can be, you will be at the top of the the, the food chain if you just. He, yeah, right I think he has every ounce of the potential that yeah. guys like Samson, Andrew Jack, like these guys that are people t- yeah. tout as potential Mr. Olympias. It's just a matter of time for yeah for Quentin. Hundred percent. With Samson, Samson uh, was good. You could see the potential, but then he grinded for a, a, three years before being where he is now. After grinding yeah. for a lot of years before that. Yeah, it's exactly. work, man. It's all work. No matter, even it's if you've got work. jeans, it's still work, isn't it? Yeah, no yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. So how do you feel, James? We, I feel good. <laughs> it's got a lot of work to do. Yeah. A lot of work to you, do. You, 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 you look, look good. You look, now? Honestly, James, you look vibrant. Your skin looks good. You look healthy, happy. I've um, got no body fat. Look at that. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, lean. The triceps. Ah, little split here. The bicep peaks. There, there you go. That's the Stairmaster working oh. for you. <laughs> That's free post up. I think you need a refeed, yeah. buddy. I'm looking at you. You're I want one. Flat. Yeah, I think Fucking you need some I think go take one. Cream. I think you you could be you could potentially be four weeks out, twenty weeks out, two weeks out. We have no. So who knows? Who knows? I don't know what I'm no. doing. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. That's, okay. yeah. That's all good. But hey, James, are you gonna you just gonna Dex show? You're still gonna take this entire year and and work by yourself? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I have a I have a friend who's a coach who I really do like, and I could see maybe the potential there of doing something with. So your old is that your old training partner? No, 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 no. This is someone uh, that I've reached out to for advice in the past because I talk to a lot of coaches and get little you know tidbits and that. So you know, I'll see. I'm gonna you know, I'll do this for the next few weeks, and then if well, I listen, decide dude, to do I... a show, I will probably probably assist have some assistance along the way somehow i don't know well yet. you've got a lot you've you've accumulated a lot of data and uh, i'm sure that for sure can... for sure and that data, yeah. you know whether it's for me or to pass on to someone that i need to help me it sure. works both ways it's great it's something for me or something for them so yeah um like i say right now just kind of enjoying i'm glad i'm happy to get up at 7 a.m go do cardio just have a routine and it's a nice a routine goal. to be in yeah and just having a goal yeah. like and the goal right now yeah. is like say just testing what condition I can get in for the sake of seeing it and whether I use that as a platform to k- propel off into a great off season, then I will. And if it leads me to going, you know what, I'll turn up at a show, then I will. But I, I, I'm i definitely not locking in for anything. I haven't got no thoughts in my mind right now. Uh, yeah. yeah, of course, I'd love to turn up at a show and maybe do well and get some more money and whatnot. But I've got some cool things happening next month um that i'll talk about when next month comes which is opportunities for me which will help my career massively so kind of being patient and not trying to be too now 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 because it's very easy to be that way so just uh soak up the days stay disciplined still promote the message of bodybuilding and show what i do and keep the audience that we have interested <laughs> and um yeah. just see where it falls really man see where it falls well, I think you're doing a great job of it. You're an amazing ambassador for the sport, man. We love you, buddy, and I'm glad you came on with us today. The love is uh, yeah, mutual. You know yeah, that, yeah. boys. That's why I'm always happy to come and have a chat. I really do appreciate it. Yeah. You, yeah. you guys are my friends, you know, so yeah. it's nice to spend some That's time right. even yeah, over the... Do you have anything you want to promote? Anything you want to promote? 
Yeah, do you? Obviously, we can promote our bio labs. Me and that's one. Yeah, and myself, right? Yeah. You with Justin now as well? You are now. Shit, yes. All of us. Fuck. So, yeah, bio labs. Guys, if you're after anything, um, there's a, an array of product. Let me just say, just go on the website and have a look because it's not just peptides. You know, there's actually some other they fucking have everything, man. really beneficial products um, yeah. on there. And we can all vouch for it. Um, mm-hmm. I get messages daily about, is it good? Is it good? No shit, Sherlock. If I'm using it, it's good. Um, so yeah, Biolabs, obviously Gasp, Gasp, look after me. I just re-signed with them. They're brilliant. Nice. I love Gasp. Congrats. Um, they're fantastic. They really are the best. Um, and then obviously Tough Reps as well in the UK or US, which is all my, you know, wrist straps and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, they look after me on that. And then obviously my gym, the Train by JPX Shed. If you want to come over to the UK and check it out, me and Jordan would appreciate that. And uh, yeah, just that's it really right now. What's your gaming tag? My gaming tag uh, on Twitch is the shed is here. So if you want to watch me on there Twitch, you ever. Twitch, yes. um, I don't know my actual gaming tag, but we'll keep nah, that. That's private. Sure. private. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's that really for now. All right, fellas. Well, well, sounds good. This is good. Check and out these way, guys as well. They've got loads of links in their bios. They can save you loads oh, of money. Yeah, loads of lots stuff. of links. These people lots. know me here. There's a certain podcast I'm on right now that might be able to help you out. <laughs> certain brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All your best Yeah, Asian muscle. So <laughs> in the comments, you guys can um, come comment, and I'm going to um, go through it and try to answer some comments and stuff. And, uh, you know, I'll try to filter out the, 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 the bad shit too because uh, I want to keep – a comfortable and safe place for everybody commenting. But you know what? For sure. If you want to comment, just comment. And then maybe the shed will go on the comment section and answer too. Maybe. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, dude. If, if this video, when this is up, I was happy to jump in the comments and there answer a few things. And if Justin needed. Will, uh, will also. Yeah, you guys can also leave questions in the comment section if you want us to answer them next podcast. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. That's a good idea. Do that, guys. Yeah. Perfect. And also, if you leave questions, then we know that you're the last, the five last five minute crew you saw it to the end. Oh, you're legit. We yeah. appreciate you guys. Yeah, you yeah, appreciate you. For the real sure. deal listeners. Yeah. yeah. No, thanks for having me, guys. Still appreciate it. Yeah, it's of course. To-